will never be satisfied. We need to be number one in everything. The moment I reach this peak, then I will see another one. So I will go there and I will go there. I will go there. We're used to it. Yeah. Mohammed Albana, entrepreneur, business mentor and investor. Helping thousands of businesses in their growth and achieving global success. Me as an advisor and as a mentor and as a potential strategic partner for you, I have to make sure that your energy is up and you are ready for this market. I know your character, you're a very religious man. You know, like religion is not something like I have to pray the five times and I have to do this and that. No, it's to help people. I have a very good and nice question for you. Yes. Are you hungry? I'm starving. What's the hardest thing about being Muhammad Albana? The moment I see someone in the mall, they stop me. So it's like an opportunity that they grab and they immediately turn the conversation to business. That's why yeah. sometimes I avoid seeing certain people. Yeah. Muhammad Albana. Ahlan wa sahlan. What a, what a pleasure this is. Voila, the pleasure what an is honor all this mine. Is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Man. I told you this before. I, uh, I've never met a guest that's come on my podcast that's made it look like it's their car. And I'm the guest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know what made you saying that, but, uh, but thank you. When you see the footage, you'll see that I look like the guest and you look like it. <laughs> Maybe because of the sunglasses. Uh, you want, like, I, maybe, it you no, I don't know. It's just the style. <laughs> it's the energy. It's just uh, no, bro. We're the same. We, you know, we're wearing the same. It's very nice, by the way. You Thank wear you. It. Well, it's Thank very, you. very, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. What's this? I was always wondering to ask somebody. So this is called farrukha. Okay. So there are certain people that they said that um, you know, a long time ago, if they're you know when they start eating you know on the desert uh -huh. so there are flies so they would just do like this, ah. and like this. i'm not really sure to be honest okay. how accurate this information is but this is one of the things but it is stylish this is the emirati dress sure sure this is how you know it's emirati yes so from exactly. this yes and the saudi has the colored uh thing has the th this uh no it is different from here so they okay. have I don't know what, what they call it, but here it is a bit different. Okay. And they, you know, the way they wear this called Ghutra, uh -huh. they normally use the red one. Sure. Not the white sure. one. And uh, this Igal, called the Igal, it is bigger. I and see. they they put it differently than what how it's like it a square sometimes. No, 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 no. This is very old. That's old. No one old is now. No one is using that nowadays. Oh, I see. Uh, but it is, you know, like when you see that red one and this one bigger, you will know that those are Saudis. I see. Yeah. I remember King Faisal from Saudi. He would have a square one. On yeah, his head. because those are, you know, like. You know, like the, the old school, I think, and this is maybe, I'm not really sure. I yeah. can't just say that. Um, maybe this is for, you know, like uh, for such, you know, like big princes that they used to wear such things. But sure. Siani, you go to uh, Saudi, you will, you will not see people wearing that. Sure. You sure. will just see them wearing this one, the normal one. Sure. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe it's very traditional, you know. Like yeah. If there is Eid, Ramadan, there is something, maybe you will see the big, the old man wearing that. Sure. Because it's traditional. How much changes in the Kandura fashion? How, like, obviously, this is what Prophet Muhammad wore, you know, hundreds, thousands of years ago. Mm. But how has it changed? Does, does the fashion change? Because you, I, I mentioned to you the, the square one, you said we don't wear that anymore. So is that like outdated now and there's new mm. fashion that comes with it? No. 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 I mean, see, they're very basic one if we're talking here about here in uae it's the white one yeah and you wear white when the weather is like that's very hot yeah. when the weather is nice you start seeing people wearing you know the black the blue uh -huh. and all the dark colors I see. but it's very simple white white or white and red mm. so uh so the, the, the these are the basic colors it's funny because this is not a fashion outfit it's it's a or would you say like outfit a or traditional, uniform? Traditional. Yes, it, yeah. it, it's it's a Muslim uh, traditional cultural uh, outfit. But now people like you with a fresh cut, shave, beard, and everything, mm. you guys are starting to bring it into fashion. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, you know, like I don't know what to comment on that. Yeah. But to be honest, um, you will see lots of. Uh, Lots of people are wearing this. And just to let you know, one very important point that 
anyone in UAE, this is the amazing things about United Arab Emirates and about their leaders. You know, like one time, let's, I just want to change the subject so we can go back. Sure. We did an event called Unity uh -huh. for, because we have 200 plus uh, nationalities. And one of the reasons why I came up with that idea is to bring certain experiences and knowledge and information to certain people. Mm -hmm. Certain people who came to UAE where they don't know anything about it. They don't know about the tradition, the food, this and that. So one of the things, I'm not going to talk a lot about the event, but one of the things, I decided to make that event black and white. The theme was black and white. Okay. Like no one is allowed to come if you don't wear the kandora. We, I remember we did maybe 100 or 120 kandoras just in case if people they don't have. So we used to give them the kandora and give them the kandora. Or the black, which is the abaya. Sure. All right. <laughs> so why we did that? We wanted even ambassadors to try it for their first time to wear the kandora and wear the ghutra and agal. So, you know, like they felt, oh my God. So, they, you know, like you would be surprised. Maybe 60% from the, from the audience, from the guests who came, they asked one question. Are we allowed to wear this? Yeah. I say, yes. <laughs> this is the really. Yeah. So we can wear it anywhere. We, uh, I can go to a supermarket or anywhere. I said, of course. Yeah. So that was a magical point for me where, you know, like we at least we are spreading the word that, yes, it is absolutely fine. Yeah. And I know people now, they are not wearing uh the normal clothes anymore yeah because it is easier yeah so they just wear the kandura uh, you know like now they start even telling me there is something called the asama so this is where you don't wear this one it's more you casual. wear a wrap yeah, yeah so so this is like a more casual mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so so yeah it it is anyone can wear it it is nice it is very light it is stylish yeah. It's amazing, so why not? It's just eating is very difficult, okay? Especially to avoid, the, yeah. The, the, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I feel like you would be a professional by now, you would eat clean and you would just know. Well, I think you know, like anything in life, man, uh, you know, if you want to take care about something, you know, like to avoid having this or that, any kind of mistake, you will, you know, like you will do it right, sure. So, you know, it's not about, you know, like, the, yes, you know, like wearing something white, it's be very challenging because yes. anything will make it dirty. Yeah. But I think, as you said, we are, we're used to it. Yeah. So we, yeah. we became experts. So who are you? Who, if I ask you, who is Muhammad Al-Banna? Well, Muhammad Al-Banna is a very humble person. This is how I see myself. I grew up very you know, in, in, in a normal, amazing environment where we, you know, we live in, in, in a phase in life that we were on top because my father was a real estate. And, you know, like in certain years or certain months or weeks, you know, we used to be under the ground because mm. it was very challenging. Mm. So I, I remember seeing a lot, a lot of things here in UAE with, with their the when there was a war between Iraq and Kuwait. Mm -hmm. uh, so everything like, you know, like everything was down. It was very challenging. I've seen, you know, 2008, the, uh, the crisis, the real estate. I have seen Corona. So, you know, remembering all these challenges in my life, and especially that I am a self-made, I wasn't born with the golden spoon in my mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like, you know, certain people, you know, when we become very close you know, and they talk to me and uh, start asking me about my life. They think that, you know, like um, my my father is a sheikh or an excellency or, you know, like we own this and we own that. And that's why, you know, like this is where I reach. Alhamdulillah. But I tell them, no, I am self-made. You don't know what I've gone through mm. in order to reach here. And seriously, and this is one of the things, even when I travel, you know, I remember when I was in Azerbaijan, I saw a photographer, but I have seen the passion in that guy. And I started mentoring him. I started guiding him. I started giving him lots of things. And I, I kept telling him, I, tell, I told him, bro, listen, I swear to God, you will become something if you start doing one, two, three. And I told him, listen, I want to tell you, you know, part of my stories. Now you see, you know, like where I'm going, the people that they are welcoming me, taking me here and there, and they are dealing you know, it's, it's like a big deal. I told him, I am self-made. I was absolutely nothing. 
I started 23 years old uh, ago. And, um, it, you know, like my life was up and down, up and down. And this is why I go back to the first statement where I said that I'm very humble that, you know, whatever I do in my life, wherever I, you know, like reach, for me, all these things are absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. I will always remember Muhammad al-Banna, you know, mm -hmm. like the humble person. Mm -hmm. So now I make money, I meet X and Y and Z, it's fine. End of the day, we are all a human. Yeah. And I believe, you know, like when you reach a certain level in life, especially financially, it's, it will either destroy you because you will be so spoiled and you will start buying things and showing off and brands and all these things. Or you will always remember, you know, when you were young, the humble, the person that would like to give other people opportunity to become leaders like you. And I think this is, alhamdulillah, and this is the why I'm saying I'm, I'm a humble person. I, I, you know, like something that I learned from the ruler of Dubai that he said, you know, we will never be satisfied. We need to be number one. In everything, we need to be the highest, the tallest, the biggest. He said, the moment I reach this uh, peak, let's say at a mountain, then I, want, I will see another one. So mm -hmm. I will go there and I will go there. I will go there. Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot from Sheikh Muhammad because I read a lot from what he say. Mm -hmm. I, I, I see his stories. I, you know, I read his books. It's very, very, mm -hmm. you know, like inspiring. Of course. And that's why, you know, like I always want to do more. Not only to, you know, like to please myself, mm -hmm. it's just to, to become something in this life where I can, you know, like give this person something for him yes. to learn. Yeah. So I'll tell you before you ask me another question, I'll tell you <laughs> one, one of my philosophies. Okay? Please. Yeah, being humble, it's amazing. And making money is amazing. And I have one philosophy. The moment I make Alhamdulillah, a lot of money. If number one, if I am giving a decent life to my wife and to my kids, if I am supporting, regardless, my, my parents, whether I take, you know, like we travel or I buy them something, whatever. And as long as I am saving money for, for the future, for my kids, for ourselves, you know, like to be, you know, to, to keep, you know, upgrading day by day. And as long as number four, I give money to certain people that I know that they are in need. I don't like to buy a ticket for a charity, you know, mm -hmm. like here and there. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I like to search for people that mm -hmm. I know that they are in need mm -hmm. and I send them the money mm -hmm. for the school or for the hospital. And I don't like to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But now if I am talking about it, because it's one of my secrets mm -hmm. about the five points mm -hmm. and I want other people maybe to be inspired and do the same. Mm -hmm. So if I do the four things where I enjoy doing them, then the fifth point, it's for me. Mm -hmm. This is where I reward myself. So now when you told me about the two bikes, <laughs> yeah. when I buy motorbikes, it's not like, you know, like I am showing off. Yes. But those are things that will make me feel, you know, like great. Yes. I reward myself. Yes. And this is where I always tell people, when you achieve something business you know like anything you achieve something reward yourself yes. never forget yourself of because course. you know you have to love yourself you have to reward yourself you have to celebrate mm -hmm. you know with yourself <laughs> and this is how you will always be growing it's yes. it's a mindset yes of course i love that uh, a couple of things i want to say first of all the bikes beautiful bikes right you have yeah. you have one for country and you have one for speed but also i know you don't like the flex or anything but you do have a number plate on your G-Wagon that can buy 15 G-Wagons, but we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of it, you thought I didn't notice. And then on top of that, you know, I didn't know you did charity work, right? But I knew you did charity work because I know your character. So even though I, uh, so for you to tell me, I wasn't surprised. I was just waiting for which charity you would do because I know your character. You're very, uh, you're a very religious man. And, uh, and you're right, 100%. You know, my philosophy on that, you know, when a man dies and he has 10 million in his account, 4 million in his account, God's, you know, there's nothing worse than a stingy man. God's going to say, well, 
Did you help anyone? Did you create any opportunities for other people? Did you allow the money to flow? Did you build any schools? Did you? Uh, money has to flow. Money always has to flow. It's energy. And the more you <clears throat> give, the more you get. It's, if it's, you don't, if you don't wait for it. Yes. Yeah. It, mm. it, I believe money is a cycle, right? Like like a wheel. And then when it's your opportunity to put in more, you always put in more because when the next cycle comes, it's more. And then when the cycle comes again, you put in more. And that's how you eventually yes. grow up the, uh, the list. So if people are watching this and they don't know who, how Muhammad Albana makes money, what is your industry? What is your specialty? Um, if I want to put it now for the things that I am focusing on, because see, you, I have investment. So let's put it this way. Certain things that I am investing, whether the real estate or uh, restaurants or putting money with certain companies that they are, you know, like giving me return every six months or every year, uh, whether buying, uh, you know, like certain great assets that I like to, you know, I'm a collector. So, mm -hmm. and sometimes I collect numbers. I like num plate numbers. Yeah. So, so this, this part is the investment. Mm -hmm. So this is something that, it's not really, really fun because it's not like my passion, mm -hmm. but it's certain things that I am good at mm -hmm. and I do it. Mm -hmm. And I, why not, mm -hmm. you know, to, 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 uh, when you have the right people, people that you trust and you have the right resources, you have the right, you know, you know, you have the money, mm -hmm. you can invest here and there and you can make money. Mm -hmm. It's not really hard, but it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is one. Number two, if you ask me about, uh, Certain things that I do currently and businesses that I am, um, you know, like supporting. First, there is something that I enjoy doing a lot, which is the mentoring. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is why I created a website under my name, hamadilbanna.com. This is where, you know, I mentor people worldwide. Mm -hmm. So they book me per hour, whether, you know, one hour or 10 hours. And I enjoy it. It's see, it is a business, but I'm not doing it for a business. I'm doing it to uh, monitor my time and filter the opportunity that I get, and to really help people from all around the world. Yes, they are paying for that hour or two hours, but this is something that will help them not to be so excited and come here in the UAE. I'll give you an example: a company that they are, you know, like. Halas, they decided they want to come here. One person told them from US, there I have a friend of mine, he, he's an entrepreneur. He has the, these business one, two, three. Talk to them. So we talked. So they have, you know, I don't want to go in details, but they have certain solutions for countries that, you know, like they have rain 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And they have seen what happened, you know, when it rained here mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in Dubai. And they want to come here. So they were so excited. So when, you know, like when, when we had that uh, one hour, they wanted to have an office. They wanted to recruit people. Mm -hmm. They wanted to come full-fledged, man. They wanted to invest heavily. And this is where I told them, hold your horses. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely not recommended. And I'm not recommending you to make a visit study from someone here from Dubai to give you a 400 report. I told them, all what we will have to do, because, you know, like I told him the fact. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, you know, it, it trains here in Dubai, but not the way that you, you have seen, you know, like this, that was like exceptional. Mm -hmm. Let me put it this way. Climate change. Of course. So I told them, we can now see, now going from the consultancy, we are going to the second phase. Mm -hmm. of things that I do and I like. But I do it not because I want to charge them money. Mm -hmm. I want to support them and see if that works. Then it's either I will invest with them or I will become their strategic partner or I will become an advisor for them. But what is the second step after we finish the first one? I tell them, listen, since you are very excited to come here in Dubai, I say, no problem. I will give you a very nice solution that this is something that I would do if I am in your position. Mm -hmm. You say what? I say, we will enter the market without having any license, without having any offers, no recruitment, nothing. Give me your product. Send me someone senior from your side. And we will be meeting 
certain decision makers in the market. We decide to go for three months. But what will happen with the with this three months? We go, we meet business leaders in the in the industry, and we ask them, what do you think about this product or service, solution, whatever? We gather feedback within the three months. If we see that what they what we have is something promising for this market, I tell them congratulations. Now let's set up the business here. Mm-hmm. If the 10 leaders, all of them said, Wallahi, we don't like it because you have to change ABC. I will tell you, go change ABC in your country and then come back. But if all of them said, no, this will not work because of one, two, three, then it's not a good market. Mm -hmm. So when I created this and I created as if I am creating it for myself, man, you know, like many people became really good friends. And all what they say, it's either they say thank you and bye-bye to this market and we became friends or thank you that they are here now and they are trying the market. Mm -hmm. So this business is something that it is one of my passion because I like to mentor people. I like like to advise people and I like to learn something from those people. You're talking about either entrepreneurs that they want to come or investors or big companies, well-established companies that they want to come here and they are from various uh, industries. So what I what I gain from this partnership, I learn something new. Mm-hmm. I make good relationship with those people that they want to enter the market. And this is end of the day. I am a businessman. I am a business leader. So I like to bring certain new things here in UAE to be part of their successful story here. So sometimes I invest with them, as I said, or sometimes I just advise them how to do things for three months or six months, and then I tell them, all right, guys, it is good for you. Yeah. So this is something that I do a lot with my partner, Sheikh Ahmed al Qasimi, And this is, again, another amazing pillar that we are having, that Sheikh Ahmed, yes, he is a businessman. He has uh, an official uh, uh, position and he is a sheikh. But at the same time, when we sign with, the, with, with one of the big companies to try the three months, he's a person where, you know, like he will roll up his sleeves and he will attend meetings. Wow. Yes. So this is one of the unique selling points, I would say, to show people that we are very committed. Yeah. We will not, you know, tell you, all right, is this your brand and you want to try it for three months? Okay, I will call X and Y and Z, go and open doors for them and see if this will work or not. No, yeah. it is me and Sheikh Ahmed and the owner of that company who will be going and meeting the top decision makers. And this is what, uh, you know, like makes our business a bit different, Mm -hmm. that we attend meetings. We Mm -hmm. are very committed and we are very serious because if we achieve, Mm -hmm. it is amazing. The guys are happy. We are happy. Mm -hmm. If they don't, they will never say, why it didn't happen, Muhammad? We paid this and it didn't work. No, because they have seen that we are committed. Of course. We tried. Yeah. So this is, one of the biggest passion that I do, and I do it out of respect to these companies because I don't want them to come and invest a lot and then lose because it happened in, in before Corona. I'm doing this business for a long time. And um, I remember one of the companies came and they were so excited. And uh, someone invested almost a million offers, hiring, visas, everything, marketing, you know, like he bought a car or two, you know, like for one year, mm-hmm. him and his wife spent one million dirham plus or minus, and he lost or they lost all of them. And they did not achieve anything business wise. And they left. I swear to God, man, that was, you know, my heart was broken. Really? Seeing two people you know, like that was their entire life investment. And they lost all. And I said, oh my God. And this is where, you know, like I start creating certain solutions to tell people, yeah, Habibi, please don't be so excited. Let's wait and see. Let's go for the three months. And if you ask Muhammad, why did you come with this three months? I call it, uh, let's date before we get married. <laughs> people are very excited. They see my profile in my LinkedIn or whatever. And they say, Muhammad, we want to come in business. They, they are very excited. 
the old mentality, the old Muhammad, you know, like when we used to sell, and I'm saying it very, you know, like openly, yes, we, I used to have a sales people, you know, like sales team, big team that they used to sell, you know? So it, it was something, okay, you want the service? Yes, I want the service. All right, let's do the company X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And then what is the re result? It's nothing. There is no result. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when I started, when I created my own company, Lead Ventures, and, you know, then I have another con Connect Lead. It's a management consultancy. Then I started thinking, okay, let me pause. Now, haram, you know, to sell those people. And I'm telling you, I was born for sales. It is very easy to sell, you know, people, you know, especially that you have a good brand. And mm -hmm. I said, Wallah haram. You know, I want to put myself in that situation. So I go deep in that person and ask him a lot of questions as if I am a doctor. Mm -hmm. I ask him questions and I don't care if I, lose, if I will lose that great opportunity. And I tell him, listen, there are plenty of people that you can go and you can deal with them. So, you know, like I'm very honest. So I ask a lot of questions and I tell them, listen, so the certain companies that they, they are very excited. Hamad, we want to do this visibility study and the report market research. He said, sorry, but I don't know if the guys know Khaliwali or not. <laughs> so it's like, you know, like forget it. Forget it. You know, like yeah. the, the real market research for me, this is what I would do. I have nothing against the companies that they are doing the market research. It's amazing. But for me, I am a person, if I travel anywhere, I would rather meet someone who knows the market very well, who has good network, and tell me, I am your market research. How? Yeah. I will tell him, I am selling this one. Take me to your country, for example, Italy. Mm -hmm. Instead of paying 10 or 15 or $20,000 for making a, a big uh, report, 400, and I will study it, my team will study it, then I will decide if this market is good for me or not. I'd rather give the $20,000 to that person to take me everywhere in Italy and to meet decision makers yeah. and tell them, guys, are you interested to buy this? This is the real market research mm. for me. Mm. So this is where, you know, like when you go deep into that person to know what they are selling, who they are, why they are saying, and this is very important, why you are selling this, you know, when you have all these things, then you will be able to engage with them in personal level. Mm -hmm. That's why, believe it or not, I don't have a sales people. Mm -hmm. I changed my business model. I don't believe in having business uh, in sales team because I don't want people to sell. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, I reached to a certain level in my life that I don't want to sell to make money where I become rich and rich. No, mm -hmm. it's absolutely fine. You know, I have my platforms, Yes, I have my own team and I have lots of resources and I learned a lot from the uh, from Corona. So now when when we receive an inquiry, so it goes to my team, they filter that opportunity. Then we have the one hour consultancy for me to know if this is good for them or not. I give them my feedback. Then we filter if this is something good for them to go to the three months or sometimes to the one year. When we sign a deal, then I will assign, I will delegate certain tasks to my team. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a sales. I, ha I am the person who close the deal if I am convinced personally because I am the decision maker. Then I tell the, you know, like the, you know, like the right people, you do this and you do that. When I change this formula, I would say 99%, you know, I, I will not say never failed, but see, I mean, the formula is working. Yeah. And one of the last thing, I, because I, I do lots of things, but I don't want to take much time about all the things that I do, but I'll tell you one important thing that I also start doing, uh, along with my partner, Sheikh Ahmed al is uh, you know, like one time, and I remember this maybe now a year and a half, I wanted to give certain experience to certain people. Mm -hmm. And I told them, guys, do you know where is Hatta? Now, let me let me ask you a question, okay? Yeah. Front of your audience. <laughs> where is Hatta? Well, which, which direction? No, where is Hatta? What is Hatta? We know Hatta, right? It's in the UAE. Yes, of where course. in UAE? Uh, on a map you want me to show you? No. How many kilometers? No, like, this is, if I ask you, 
we all know Hatta Hatta is amazing place that I recommend everyone to go and yes. try. It. But where is Hatta? So now you are thinking you yourself, and this is by the way, one hour drive, right? It is, uh, yeah, yeah. But, it's still, but where is it? It's inland. Yeah, but where? People are saying, <laughs> oh, people are saying in Oman. Oh. People are saying Sharjah. In, so, in which uh, province? Of yes, UAE? in UAE. I don't know. All right. Thank you very much. That's why. <laughs> thank you for embarrassing me. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, I'm making a point yeah. not to embarrass you, to tell you that these are normal. Yeah. We are learning day by day. Every day we are learning something yeah. new. But we need those people to create certain things, to educate people in a very nice way. Mm -hmm. So one day I decided, you know what? I will make a very nice gathering it's like an event but not even to bring screens and start selling no it is one of my passion yeah i invited almost six ambassadors and four general counsel and 40 business leaders to go and visit hatta and more specifically in a bee farm okay. owned by sheikh salim al-qasimi wow sheikh salim al-qasimi god bless him yeah. Very passionate, amazing personality, very humble. He, he you know what his passion? Bees. Bees. And, you know, like you sit with him, oh my God, man. Seriously, yeah. you know, like you just want to take note and just try, try, start writing. So he owns that bee farm where, where anyone can go. Yeah. And I want people now, and, and in a month or two, people should go and visit. And I'll be more than happy to make another gathering with the Sheikh Salem for him to give the tour. So it's a bee farm that anyone can go and experience and buy the honey. I would love to do it. We will do it yeah. together. All right. Please. So what was my point? I said, guys, I'm taking you to Hatta and I will ask you a question when we reach there. So imagine ambassadors, general council yeah. and, you know, business leaders. I told them, guys, where are we? We're in Hatta. Yes, but where is this Hatta? See the funny answers. <laughs> oh, this is near Oman. <laughs> oh, this is part of Sharjah. Okay. No one answered that this is part of Dubai. Ah. So, Hatta, it is part of Dubai. Part of Dubai. So, why, why I'm sharing with you this? Yeah. Because these are the experiences that I, you know, like, uh, it became one of my passion. Yeah. To create certain, you know, like certain events to bring certain experiences. And awareness of where exactly, are. yeah, and it's amazing. You know, people. You know, like they were very excited to first meet Sheikh Salem to see the passion that he has for the yeah. bees, and then to taste the honey and to see how they yeah. make the the honey. And they all, you know, like after having a big Emirati amazing food, you know, like they left, and you know, like thank you, Muhammad. Yeah. Well, this is, and you know, there was nothing. There was no sponsors, and that. Yeah. It was me and Sheikh Salem. I told him. You know, like Sheikh Salem, I'm bringing 50 people. And he was very nice uh, welcoming everyone himself. Yeah. Again, rolling up the sleeves, you know, like not eating. We were making sure that everyone wow. is eating. So this, it became okay. a very nice, important thing in my life mm -hmm. to make certain experiences by doing certain events. Mm -hmm. So from the bee farm, I created something for the mother of Sheikh Ahmed. I was thinking, you know, she... You know, like I have lots of questions, I, lots of things, but I will try to minimize because no, I, I love it. The more I love it, you know, the more you do things in your life, you become like, you know, you can. This is why yeah. I want to write my book yeah. because I feel that there are a lot. I was actually going to say you should write a book. Well, and Charles, like, with, you, with your help. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'll give you another another two examples, and that's it for the event. Okay. The mother of Sheikh Ahmed Al Qasimi is an artist. But you know, by the way, for anybody that doesn't understand, uh, when we say Sheikh Al Ghassami, it's the royal family of Ras Al Khaimah. Yes, one of the members of Ras Al Khaimah. Who is your partner? Yes, yeah. Sheikh Ahmed Al Qasimi. So his mother gifted Expo uh, one of her paintings, and we went to see that painting in Expo in the boardroom where the ruler has his board meeting with everyone, all the, all the readers. And then, you know, like I was so amazed, like, oh my God, I did not even, you know, like I, was, I did not go inside, but I saw, you know, like the pictures and we were in the UAE pavilion. Anyway, when Expo finished, so the, she took it back. Okay, so she was presenting there just to, and that painting was to celebrate the UAE National Day. 
okay, uh, for the celebrations of the 50 years. So what happened is, I asked Sheikh Ahmed, where is the spending? He said, at home. I said, yeah, but is there any plan for that? He said, no. I said, I want to make something very nice. And I, back, back then, the NFT was, you know, like, it was a hype. Of course. And I said, man, I want to sell this one as an NFT. And he said, what is NFT? I said, oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but this is something, you yeah. know, again, I, I will not talk about it because it is another subject. Sure. Because I, I'm not really sure, but I, I, I own Crypto Arabs. It's an NFT project. Sure. We invested a lot, but we did not launch it because the market went down. Okay. So I am, I believe in this business, Web3 big time, but mm -hmm. maybe this is another subject. But to go back to the painting, I told Sheikh Ahmed, you know what? Why don't we show this amazing painting to the world? He said, why? How? I said, instead of selling it to one person, although you are not planning to sell it because, you know, your mother did not even think of selling it. <laughs> but I said, I want her to, you know, like to, to have something new. He said, how? I said, we will take this painting and we will make it as NFT and we will sell it to maybe 100 or 200 or 300. And of course, I explained to him, how does it work? And we told the mother, the mother said, I am, you know, like any ideas are welcome. Yeah. Of course, she didn't want to make money, but yeah. she was eager to learn something new. Yeah. And I said, you know, I will make a very nice event for you. The first one. Uh, so we, it was uh, one of the events in JBR, in, a, in an art gallery. We brought three Picassos and we put wow. her painting with the Picassos. Wow. Invited 60 people. And for the first time in her life, she took the mic oh. and she was really, you know, like, like always shaking because she didn't know what, like it was her first time. Yeah. Someone from the royal family members, you know, like talking yeah. in public, you know, and this is, there are a lot of people that are doing that, by the way, you know, like now we are not like before. Now there are lots of royal family members and, and lots of Emirati women and, they are all taking a mic and talk and they are oh. business leaders. They are amazing. Yes. But I'm talking specifically for Sheikh uh, Ahmed's mother. It was her first time to see people and talk to them. But man, from that event, that experience that I created with Sheikh Ahmed, if you see the mother and the son, the son, how he is so happy and excited to see his mother talking yeah. to everyone and the mother to see, you know, people Coming after she finished the speech, you know, everyone was clapping and then they came to take pictures and people start asking her about the painting. So tell me about the story. Oh my God, man, the joy and happiness in her eyes. And she, she couldn't stop thanking me. Wow. And guess what? It was sold. It was sold, I don't know, for maybe $20,000. Sure. You know, but it's not about the money. Yeah. It's about, you know, like, like she said, oh my God, so there are all those people they bought my painting mm. and this is why she got so excited to make more mm. and i did another event music and art and uh, you know like i brought three artists and we were selling but it was amazing event where it is a music and art great combination so this is something as you can see you know like these are the <coughs> events that i'm creating mm -hmm. and before i told you because i'll give you three examples before we go to the third one I have a very good and nice question for you. Yes. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Because now, because now, you know, like it's, it's a time for us to have lunch. Yes. So maybe, maybe I can uh, send my guys to prepare something for us quickly. How about that? I would love that. Okay. It's, a new, it's a new experience for you. Okay. It is, okay. it is Egyptian cuisine. Okay. It is one of the best in the Middle East. Yeah. And uh, you will tell me if you will like it or not. Are we close by? Um, it depends where we are, but we are, I think maybe 10 minutes from here. Okay. We'll figure it out. So I will just quickly tell the guys. Should we take the cameras inside and continue the podcast inside? Voila. Listen, <laughs> you are honestly, let me tell you something. You are one of the very few people when you invited me. And when we had that coffee, that's right. I, you know, like I did not hesitate to do anything with you I because you. you are. I believe in energy. Of you have a good one. Thank you. And I am sure 100% there are two types of people that they are doing podcasts nowadays because it became trendy. Sure. People that they are doing it for 
I don't know, making money, blah, 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 which is no, it's, it's not wrong. Yeah. But there should, you know, you always ask yourself, why I'm doing this? Mm -hmm. And when I go inside that person to know the why, and the why is to become an influencer and make money, this is not something that I like. Yes. When I feel a good energy about a person where he's doing it for, you know, like his passion and wisdom. Yes. Philosophy. And want, want to share with the people, want to yes. learn and also, you know, like teach. And, you know, this is where, you know, like I tell you, let's, let's do it. And that's why, yes. you know, like I'm, I'm sharing a lot of things with you and I, like it when uh, I saw you wearing the Kandora. Yes. So it's all the new things. <laughs> yes. It's amazing. Yeah. I appreciate you. And, uh, and uh, you know, you're right. I, I, I use this selfishly. I use this podcast to be able to sit with people like you and discuss. So uh, grateful for that. And I'm excited for your birthday, by the way. Oh, now. now Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> no, well, uh, you know, like you are one of those people that, you know, I, I meet certain people and yeah. I tell them, listen. If now we both have good energies. Yes. And I know sooner than later, we will become good friends in six months. After we meet, lunch, dinner, shisha, coffee. Yes. So, you know, like after six months, I said, I tell those people, you know, let's, you know, cut this and you know, make it, uh, you know, short. Sure. And, you know, like, uh, khalas, we are best friends now. We yeah. are good. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. tell me anything. Yes, yes. And it works all the time. And this is what happened between you and I. Yes. We are very open. We came up with a crazy idea about my daughters to be on the podcast. That's right. And, <laughs> right, right? So all these things are amazing. Yes. But to tell you about also I my I wanted to meet thing, them, by the way. Yes, you I were. came and knocked on the door to see if they're home. I, I, you know, you have to know one of my secrets. I never show my daughters in social media. Oh, I see. I'm trying to prevent that social yes. media, you know, like for them. Yes. But because I decided to do everything like a new experience with you, and this is where I offered you, and I did not offer anyone else from the people who did this podcast, that I told you I want you to do it, you know, with my with my daughter. That's so, right. Uh, That's right. We will definitely create something. Is that, I, is that happening? Of course. Why not? I left it with you. I'm not la, sure. la, la, la. I we left it with you. I want you to. I want to. Have you done it before? Never. That's halal. No, no. And they did not do it. So it will yes. be the first for them. Yes. yes. <laughs> for me and for you. No, I, and no. again, this is the new experience and this yes. is what I like. So let's let's see the, the outcome of it. The door is always open, <laughs> always open as long as their father approves. The door is Oh, open. no, no, no. Of course. Okay. End of the day, I'm a business leader. And my, yes. you know, like you will be surprised. My daughter who's eight years old. Now she wants to uh, own uh, her hotel. She wants to wow. build it. She wants to manage it. And seriously, I teach her a lot about the law of attraction, yeah. energy, this and that. But now since she's growing, so this is where I feel, all right, it became challenging because, you know, like she thinks a lot. And sometimes, you know, now this is the part where I feel, oh my goodness, now this is the role of a dad should work. Yes. Because it's not easy, especially for girls. Of oh my goodness. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but... Uh, uh, if we tell him to go to Haduta Masriya because Haduta uh, Masriya Shaq, please. Yes. Restaurant. All right. Now let yeah. they say if God loves a man, he gives him daughters. He gave you two. So, yeah. We we also have it in our uh, religion. God knows. We always have to say God knows. If we have three daughters, we will go directly to the heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, one, one more. Uh, my one wife will more. kill me if I tell her, you know. But uh, but no, I I I believe in this <laughs> life to. I don't want to say more than enough, yeah. but two, two are amazing. Yes. Especially now that they are, you know, like the grown up. So now when we travel, we really have fun. Yes. The moment you get now the third one, which I really like to have the third one, but this is how I calculate it. All right. So now another pause of four years of us traveling, you know, like yes. raising a baby again and this and that. So. We are not yet ready, but we are open to the idea, inshallah. Inshallah. Say, inshallah. So, listen, one daughter or three daughters, I think you're already going to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Wallahi, we, you know, we, we do lots of things. It's like, it's like a marathon, you yeah. know, like you are competing with yourself and that's it. Yeah. So, you know, like going to the heaven and regardless, you know, all, I respect all religion, you know, as long as, you know, like this is the beauty of, of all nationalities. Yeah. I am very open, cool guy that I talk with a lot of people when I travel, especially because they like to ask me about, you know, like our religion. Mm -hmm. uh, although here, you know, like two things I don't talk about normally, religion and politics. But when I travel, 
Many people, man, I remember I was in Italy with my wife and we met maybe six families. They invited us. You know, I used to do lots of things in Italy. Uh, and I swear, I was sitting and I felt like, you know, uh, you know, like the imam in the mosque where, yeah. you know, like I have all Italian <laughs> and they were just shooting me with the questions. So they start asking serious questions wherein like I was really shocked. And why they allow themselves to ask me questions? Because they have seen how open-minded I am. Yes, correct. They have seen how my wife and I were very cool, talking with them, laughing. Yes. They felt the love and respect. They felt and, the energy. And they, they, they thought that, you know, like, you know, like husband and wife, they know the wife should be covered and she should not talk with man. And said, oh my goodness. And then, you know, like I start sharing out of respect to tell them about our religion. Mm -hmm. And seriously, it was one of the best time ever that I spent in Italy mm -hmm. having a very nice quality mm -hmm. talk with them. Mm -hmm. So, and I told them, in our, you know, like in our holy book in Quran, it says, as long as you, I respect, you know, like your religion, you respect, we are cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there is a, there is a, there is a, something, you know, mm -hmm. they say, you know, like, mm -hmm. you have your religion, I have my religion. Mm -hmm. So as long as you res I respect your religion, you respect my religion, we are cool. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, I don't, you know, like, this is the thing, you know, like, I don't like to talk about it, but it's since we talked about it, religion for everyone to know is not something, you know, like, I have to pray the five times and I have to do this and that and I have to make this beard big. No. One of the biggest amazing thing being religious is again not praying a lot, not fasting all time, not doing all these things. Is to be a good man. Mm -hmm. Is to help people. Is to smile at people. Mm -hmm. So when you go out, you know, like today morning, you you know, like you woke up, you saw someone good morning with a big smile. If you see someone and you help him, if you see it, someone on the street and you just, you know, like his tire, whatever, you go and help him. If, you know, when you give, uh, you know, like anyone without knowing what is his religion, you give him like money, whatever, yeah. you know, like uh, as a cleaner. This is religion. When you, be, w this is being a good man. Mm -hmm. This is man, the religion. Mm -hmm. So there is no point if you are fasting and praying and doing all the amazing things and you're not good with people. Mm. Or, you know, you become angry a lot. Mm. Sometimes, you know, while you are driving, imagine you are driving, someone will come like this. Mm. You become angry, uh, uh, you know, immediately. Yeah. Why he did this? Why yeah. he did that? Yeah. La Habib, being also re religious, you know, part of it, cool down. It's yeah. okay. No, yeah, what will happen? Even, you know, like uh, a delay of one or two minutes, maybe this one or two minutes, it's good for you. Maybe if you go one or two minutes, maybe a crash will happen. Ooh, yeah. Something yeah. will happen. Yeah. So the moment you have faith in God and you have good relationship with God yes. and you start trading with him, yes. regardless, again, what is the, you know, like what religious you are following. But this is the amazing thing, you know, like when you trade in, you know, like uh, without having anything in return, like we, you are not yes. expecting anything. Yes. Like I will tell you one thing before, because now I think we are reaching to the restaurant. Well, so we will just enjoy a little bite. I will tell you something happened. I was walking in City Walk. I saw uh, a cleaner. I swear to God. I don't know why I was walking. So she was like this. And I don't know what's her relig uh, religion. So I was walking. I swear, man. As if something, you know, like as if someone told me, go back and give her money. Okay. Oof. So now there is, I just, you know, like went back, talk regardless how much. And then I told her, how are you? She said, I'm good. I said, I just have a quick question. <laughs> I said, do I know you? She said, no, as he was smiling. I said, I don't know you. You don't know me. I told her, but you are doing something in life, something great for me to come back and give you this money. Mm. I told her this money, I don't know why I was walking and I went again just to give you this. But trust me, this is not from me. This is from God. Yeah. God loves you. Yeah. 
as if God is telling you. So imagine I am talking to her. I understand. So I'm telling her as if God is telling you, don't worry. You know, like I am watching you. Yeah. Keep doing whatever you're doing. And I will send you people from anywhere just to support you or to help you. Yeah. You know, like the moment I left, I swear, I felt like I want to cry, man. Wow. Why? Because it was so, you know, like I've seen the smile. I have seen, you know, like as if she, mm. like she, she felt that, yes, I am doing maybe something good in my life, but she was speechless. Mm. And this is why, you know, like I like to do a lot of these things mm. and to give people, you know, when I give the money, like I open the window and this is one of the secrets. Again, I'm sharing with you today certain secrets. Not to tell people that, oh, this is, I'm doing it just to feed, you know, like um, showing off. No, but I swear to God, I believe in it 1 million percent that these are the things that it makes me upgrade day by day. And this is why I believe God is opening more doors. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like every time I take a note with me, I put it here. When I go and I see someone, I open with it. One time, two times, I open the window and I tell the guy, hey, where is, for example, now we reach Hadut al-Masriya? Where is the Hadut al-Masriya? He says, sir, it's here. Oh, thank you. Take. Not to let him feel that, you know, like I'm feeling sorry you are poor. No, no, no. I joke. I make yeah. him smile. I give him. Yeah. So I always do it. But this is one of the things, you know, like I believe when I give, God will take something. Maybe bad will happen maybe for me or for my parents or mm. for my kids. This is my beliefs. Mm. That's why I like to give more. Mm. And I don't believe that my money is only for me. Mm. No, it's for me, for my parents, for my kids, for my wife, and for helping people. <clears throat> and this is why I like to support as much as I can, mm. but I like to see it and feed it. Mm. This is why, uh, you know, when you told me about charities, I don't know. I like to give people where I feel mm. that, no, they are getting what they want to mm. get, you know? I, I mean, have questions about this, yeah. but let's go and continue this inside. Let's do it. Habibi, let's go. <laughs> if you like this video, consider subscribing. We do weekly podcasts with experts in every industry to help you find direction and guide you on your way. Now let's get back into it. We are back. We are back. Yalla. <laughs> Yalla, we are back with fire. We are back at a restaurant. What is this restaurant? It's my first time here. Walla, this is... Uh, it's I believe the 13 years old restaurant. 13? Yes, they will be uh, celebrating the 13 years uh, in November. Okay. It's Egyptian cuisine. It's a family uh, business. Uh, they are very passionate. This is why it is one of the best Egyptian cuisine for me, myself. I don't know if you have tried Egyptian food before or not. Have in you? Egypt. In Egypt? In Egypt. Oh my goodness. But yes. I don't think I went to the right places. Why? I don't know. I didn't really enjoy many foods I had there, but Egyptian food in Dubai, I really like. Okay. I probably didn't go to the right place. Do you know? Let me ask you a quick question. Yeah. Though I'm asking you lots of questions to see. Uh, so, uh, what is their favorite or main dish in Egypt? I don't know. I had the barbecue. Everywhere they took us was barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. Okay. So, their main one, just for you to know, is the kushiri. What is that? It's rice. You will see now. It is okay. rice and uh, some um, uh, fried onion on top, and they put lots of sauces. Mm -hmm. But this is, although Thank it you. is the most famous dish, uh, but anyone can afford it. Sure. So it's not only for rich people. No, it is like it's very convenient for, for anyone to buy. It. Oh, this yeah. is why it's very very famous. Oh, yeah. So kushari, remember that. Yes. Yes. And going back, by the way, to uh, when we enter, yes. this is good for everyone also to know. For the Arab traditions, if you are in my right side and we want to enter, and there is a door we want to enter together, always the right should be the person to enter first. The right goes first. Yes, yes. Now about the elder or this and that. The way I was raised yeah. is the elder always goes really? first. Really? Maybe this is, you know, like family-wise. You know, family, like, you know, father and brother. Yeah. Maybe, yes. But uh, even, you know, for us, when, for example, my father, if I am in the right, I will immediately go to the left and I will tell and him to go right. right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, You would be a good son because you're very disciplined, very polite, good heart. You would, you're, you're, you would be a very good son, actually. 
والله الحمد لله يعني اي اي بيليف ام لاكي تو بي ريز باي ماي فادر ماي مادر جاد بليس ذيم يا اف اي وونت تو تيل يو a third secret which i did not share with anyone else okay but again i'm sharing a lot of <laughs> well you have good energy huh? <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> you're letting you're taking all the secrets from me <laughs> but one of one of my my secret that i admire personally i don't go out from my house without taking the blessing from my father and my mother <laughs> so for the people that they have father and mother And for the people that they don't have, God bless their soul. But for the people yeah. that they have, and they are lucky to have one. My humble opinion to always take their blessing. I do this when I was. I don't remember when was. Sure. You know, because I was so young. Yeah. But every time I go out, I have to send a good morning and receive the good morning back from wow. my father and from my mother. Where do they live? They, we have. Uh, my father has his own wow. like uh, territory yeah. in Sharjah. Okay, so so they live in the UAE. Yeah, they live of in the UAE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we perfect. are in Sharjah, and uh, yeah. But this is man. Wallahi, one of the secrets to always take the blessing every single day. Yeah, you know, like what I am calling my mother, for example. In I don't call her uh, my lovely mom or that. No, it is a prayer. Wow. Like it's like God bless you, mom. Wow. Like, but it is more. My father the same. So every time they call or I call, I pray for them. All these little things it will give you joy and success in life. Yeah. Especially that you are not Gross. getting anything out of your parents money wise. All what you need is just the blessing. Mm-hmm. And I believe the reason why I am alhamdulillah blessed is because yes, I have good relationship with them. And I always make them feel that I am still, you know, like the, yeah. you know, like the baby. Yeah. Although one of the secret, by yeah. the way, when it comes to parents, yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> when when they grow up, you become like a father, and they become like the babies. So you, they are very sensitive. Yeah. You have to take care of them. Yeah. You know, like if they say something, uh, sorry, silly or something, you cannot be mad. And yeah. No, you have to be patient. Yeah. You have to remember that you. You used to be in their position yes. when you were young, yes, remember, exactly. right? Yeah. And exactly. this is where I face a lot of my friends. You know, like they feel embarrassed. And I, yeah. when I went to other Bijan, I told a friend of mine, I told him, "Habibi, let him. It's absolutely fine. Why you feel embarrassed? Yeah. He's old man. Yeah. You used to make him embarrassed when he was, yeah. you know, when you were a little kid. I'm, I'm experiencing that right now. My parents have becoming the babies. Yeah. And I'm becoming the adult. Okay. You know, so I know exactly what you're talking about. And you're patient. course you have to be of course yes. you have to be thank you sir thank you so much okay hey, let me you can start this Danny. Sure. We, uh, yeah so you know if you work at a real estate agency and you get your real estate license okay yeah. i you know you, you work in a real estate agency you get your real estate license and you start selling homes okay with you with what you do i feel like you have a license to do to bring businesses into dubai to further the country to progress it is that right is that my, right of my understanding wallahi you your understanding is absolutely on point i don't know if you have seen my uh, my trip to other bijan yes so it was almost 10 days ago yes and the reason why we were there because there is a developer called seabreez they are like amar but in azerbaijan one of the largest it is amazing the moment i've been there and i'm going to post something very nice to show the project so it's not like only i am promoting that project still i am considering buying there but it reminds me of the downtown mm. how downtown when it was nothing mm. it was very promising mm. but people did not buy because they did not believe that mm. it will be I don't know if you have seen the board it was a it was a big board in Sheikh Zayed Road of the downtown area where you know like they write the most expensive uh, part in the world this is how they used to promote the downtown wow no one was buying wow but you know of course 
Amar did the great job. I used to work in Amlak Finance. Yeah. So Amlak and Amar are sister companies. So yeah. Amar will sell, will build properties, then we will mortgage, we will give mortgage. So I lived in that territory, man. So I used to be uh, the youngest team leader, giving loans to corporate and individuals. So real estate in my blood, and I love it. Yeah. So now going back to other Bijan, this is what I remember. I remember the downtown back in 2006 and five, and now they are doing it in other Bijan. Lots of constructions, amazing development, mm. uh, very affordable prices. Mm -hmm. So now I am focusing in both. I am focusing in certain projects here in Dubai, as if, you know, like I am rolling up my sleeve sure. to go back to real estate because sure. I love it. Yeah. And at the same time, so we are bringing certain investment to Dubai because Dubai will always be Dubai. Mm -hmm. If you find the right, I mean, you know, like finding the right places, whether in downtown or the Palm or, or it's very expensive. Yes. So it's either bringing certain investment here or taking investment from here and going to Russia and Azerbaijan. So I'm doing a lot in Russia and now I'm starting to do in Azerbaijan. Also real estate. And you also did a big deal in Germany. Didn't you bring a big German company to Dubai? Um, see, talking about German, Italian, Spanish, US companies, those are some of the strategic partners that we give them. Remember, the three months? Yes. But certain companies, we used to give them the one-year package where, you know, like... Uh, we enter with them on the license. We help yes. them everything from A to Z. Yes. From the license all the way to start selling. So I don't, you know, like I have to go back and see which German company, but sure. we dealt with many companies. Many? Yes. Wow. These are, we are talking, guys, okay. enjoy. Okay. Uh, this is the starters. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> this is the first time I've eaten food on my podcast. My first time. Zaim, don't Martin sell kosher, yeah? We want him to try everything today. Now, mm. doesn't this taste as a Bajani or Russian? Which one? This one. No, this is Egyptian, purely Egyptian. There's something similar in Russia. Mm. In Azerbaijan as well. Not that I am aware of, to be honest. Mm. Tastes really similar. Mm. Beautiful. Wow. This. Mohammed, you're really spoiling us today. This is just the starters? Honestly? Yeah, and if I'm spoiling you today, hmm. it will be you and only you. I'll eat the tail because I'm on diet. Yeah. So you went, on to, you went to Russia? I went to Russia. St. Petersburg. Which is a very nice, amazing, quiet place, good for anything related to peace, yoga, meditation, and all the way to Moscow. So Moscow, you know, like I went to two trips, you know, like I kept like 10 days because it was really two different cities. Yeah. Let's put it this way. Yeah. Um, uh, Moscow is Moscow. Moscow is like Dubai. Moscow is business. Business, business. Cars. Yeah. Restaurants. But in two places, what I found, that they have amazing, very nice food. Yes. This is where I gain a lot of weight. Yeah. Because Sheikh Ahmed and I, all what we used to, we, we used to do is just, you know, like going, you know, like uh, this guy is inviting us for dinner, lunch, between dinner and lunch and breakfast. Great hospitality. Yeah. And, you know, like you have to, you know, you like have to eat, eat little and little. Course. And their sweet is just amazing. I mean, this is incredible. This one. Uh, but you're a, if I look at you physically, I would say you're a fit person. Yeah, you know why? Because this sport is something, you know, it's like a lifestyle for me. Yes. Yeah, you love sport. I can yes. tell you love sport. Yeah, of course. So so it's not like I, I do it occasionally. No, I do it all the time, but you know, I am Libra. Libras normally or Libyan people, they are black or white. So it's either that we are fit and healthy. Or, you know, burgers, yeah. anytime, yeah. Uh, yeah. junk food, uh, we have no problem. But, you know, like, I balance being, you know, like, at least in a good shape. Mm -hmm. uh, very important. Because 
your body is like a, it's like a, your uh, Maiba car. Of course. You know, you have to take care of... Uh, it's your vehicle. Of course. Now, it's funny you talk about Libra mm. because I read somewhere that millionaires don't look at zodiac signs. Billionaires do. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what I read somewhere. Um, but uh, but I'm, I'm Aquarius. Then you give me that. Mm. That's probably why you and I get along so well. Because everybody tells me as an Aquarius that you need to have Libra friends and partners. Which sign are you? Aquarius. Mm. Honestly, mm. I'm saying in the front of the camera, mm. I'm not good in signs. Yeah. I don't know what's the difference between this and that. Same. Which one is good with this? Same. The only thing which I know is about my sign. Libras. So if I see any Libra, I say, okay. No. <laughs> I say, I know you very well now. But do you not know what signs is compatible with Libra? Mm. Okay. This is wow. the fishery. This is the Egyptian... Koshari one, which you will see the presentation, how they do it. Mm -hmm. This is a famous one you're telling me. Yes, yes, yes. So to answer your question, no. I don't know, honestly, which one, uh, which one is good for me, which is not. So, Mohammed, this is, what was, what dish was this called again? This is Koshari. Koshari. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting one. I haven't seen this one before. We're in, um, it's a very traditional one, you know. You go to Egypt, yeah. You have to try it. Yeah, it's, very, it's the most famous dish in Egypt. If anybody watching this, we're on Sheikh Said Road, and we're next to Mansouri. Mm. The restaurant is called Haduda Masriya. Haduda Masriya, beautiful. It's a fine dining, and mm. it's a cafe. Mm. Great story created by the the mother of. Um, and father and it's, it's a family business of my best best friend sure but the reason why i would say it's very very successful mashallah that they they were all engaged in this business every single yeah Sorry. yeah so one of these exactly everyone mother gave the recipe uh, father was managing and you will see him you know like sitting somewhere you know like doing all he's that there. like you know like yeah. Now, while we are speaking, he's there. And this is the reason wow. why, yes, he is drinking water. So this is, you know, like part of the success in any business, especially a restaurant. Oh, my God. If you, as the owner, don't sit in your business, and this is the real thing. Imagine. Yeah, and now we are talking, and one of the owner is sitting in that table. So this is why it is successful, that they don't leave it. He's on top of He's her. a doctor, by the way. Wow. But it became a passion. Wow. You know, like, and they expand, mashallah, more and more. And this is why it became, you know, like, they, they, they had to let go certain things, like being a doctor or certain things, especially, you know, with the agent. Yes. And now, you know, like, they are, it's, it's their, it's their yeah. business, their life. Yeah. By the way, I'm not sure if you caught that on camera. I dropped my fork mm -hmm. and I was waiting for them to bring me a new fork. And there's one already yeah. there. I didn't even see it. <laughs> and it's already there. Oh, well, a ni nice, uh, nice promotion for the restaurant. Yeah, like, good job. Great job. Mm. I'm excited to try this one. What's your routine like? What, do you, what time do you wake up in the morning? Mm. 6.30. Every morning. 6.30. No. And then what do To be honest, I don't want to uh, sound so perfect. But I do it three times now because when I came back from my travels, I'm not able to wake up the the, the prayer time. Sure. So 4.30, I wake up for a prayer time. I go pray. Then I go sleep again for an hour. Then I wake up. I drop my two kids to the school. This is the best quality time in the morning, in the morning. to inject information in their brain. And to hear what they have. Then after that, I go to Earth Cafe where we met. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, one of the energetic, nice place for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just sit there for two or two and a half hours where I have casual meetings with certain people that I choose to meet. Yeah. And then after that, I go to the office. Yeah. Come back. It's either that I go play paddle and... 
you know, like nowadays, honestly, I don't go. I used to go to the gym, but now I am going back to the gym. Now you're going back to the gym? Yes. Which gym do you go to? Uh, it's called the Champs. Okay. Owned by the a very good friend of mine called Fadil Khatib. Very successful man. This is a person I want you to please, inshallah, I will arrange for you to interview. Lebanese Any basketball player, man. Every friend of yours is, is welcome to the podcast, Habib of course. <clears throat> Interesting. I think I've met him. He's very tall. Mm -hmm. um, he was presented a gift from Sheikh Mohammed as well. Mm -hmm. was, it, was that him or no? I, I didn't see that part. That? Okay, maybe different guy then. But he, is, he's, uh, he was the number one basketball player in wow. the Lebanon team. And he has lots of businesses, wow. very successful. But this man, well, I see this is one of the success. When we are talking about someone that he's not paying us to promote him. But I love that person because he is a great father. Yeah. He's a great man himself. Yeah. You know, helping people. Oh my God, man, you talk to this guy. Yeah. Very humble, very quiet, very welcoming. Yeah. If you ask him for anything, he would tell you, you know, like when, and I would say this again, Wallahi, I'm not promoting anything about, I don't have any business with him, any business. But we went to play, my team booked uh, a paddle two months ago before I got some injury. We booked, we did, I didn't know that he has, a, uh, he has a paddle court mm -hmm. in his gym. So they said, you know, we're going, uh, Lilian, one of my team members, she, she sent me the location, Champs. I said, Champs? I told her, this is owned by Fadi Al Khatib. She said, yes. I said, since only he has a uh, paddle in his gym. Yes. And, I, and I, you know, like I immediately messaged him. I said, Fadi, oh my goodness, you have a paddle and you don't tell me? And then he said, Wallah, you're coming? I said, yes, we're going, blah, blah, blah. And at that time, it was a big match between Sheikh Ahmed, Myself and two football players, which is one guy who is the, the the first famous player in UAE team. So they played against us. So anyway, it was a big match. Okay. I want to talk about it. <laughs> so is it because I, you lost? You don't want to talk no, about I it? No, I got I got really injury for two oh, or three you? months. Oh okay. my god, it was a big one. What your knee? Uh, no, no, no. It's like uh, this muscles. Oh yeah, your calf, call it. calf yeah. muscles. Yeah. And it was really. Quick zero. Can I get a quick zero, please? Coke Zero. Yeah, thank you. So You pull the muscle in your calf it was by, by the looks of things. Why? Because the football player, 20 years old, flying like, you know, like a bird. He Zombie. made me run like a crazy man. And I did not warm up. This was very wrong. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> wow. Zaim. <laughs> So, unfortunately, you're not 21 years anymore. La, 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 la. I always say I am 27 years old. Hey, 27 years this old. This is all what I feel. Everyone asks me, how old are you? I say, what? this is what I feel. I feel like I'm 27. 27. But the number on the, yeah. on, on the national ID and passport is something else. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Paul Hawashi. This is best with that one. Oh wow. Honey barbecue is good with that guy. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm enjoying that you are uh, you are uh, mm. enjoying. Sure, thank you so much. Thank you. Service has been exceptional. Thank you. Thank you. What's that, sir? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Put it all on there. No problem. Yeah, yeah, okay. What's the hardest thing? I'll give you this one. What's the hardest thing about being Muhammad Albana? For anyone to become Muhammad Albana, you mean, or what? I didn't get the point. Thank you. What's the hardest part mm. about being you? Because you're a recognizable face in Dubai. Mm. Is that annoying? Mm. Because I once first saw you. We didn't know each other. See, and very... We were, continue, yeah. We were at an iftar, and I saw you. 
And I knew straight away from your face, I've seen him. Which F car? It was a supercar rally F car. On Marina. Walla? It was oh. in Marina. You were sitting towards the outside. Do you remember oh. in the Marina? <laughs> no, you know, there's so many F cars. You came, I saw you pull up. I was like looking at my idol. I was like, wow, look at this guy. Look at that number plate. You're walking like the like a boss. <laughs> oh, like, uh, and then... Was it... Um, uh, wait, wait. There was a supercar thing one with Gordon. Oh, Gordon. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh, so, lots of events, to be honest. That's why I tried to minimize as much as I could this year in order to avoid. Because, you know, it's... Um, it's like I start seeing myself like a battery, and my battery is my energy. So I exactly. always, you know, when I wake up, okay, who do I want to give my energy to? Exactly. That's why everything is on my calendar. Yeah. Anything, if someone is calling me without yeah. having, uh, you know, fair yeah. agreement for us to have a call, I don't answer yeah. because everything. Now yeah. people are calling wow. me. People are calling me, but I don't answer because, you know, like we are now having guns. Yeah. So, uh, but to, to give you the answer, I was uh, telling my wife one day, like I never felt that one day will come where I feel like I don't want to go to places where people know me. I don't want to, I don't want to go and, you know, socialize. And, because, you know, it is amazing feeling. But you know what is the challenge? Wow. That when the moment I see someone in the mall, for example, they stop me. It's not like a high vibe. Hi, how are you? How is everything? How is this? How is that? You know, I opened that business and this is one. No, no, no. Let's meet. Let's talk. It's all immediately. So it's mm -hmm. like an opportunity that they grab and they immediately turn the conversation to business. To business. So the one minute, salam, it will end up having 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. That's why yeah. sometimes I avoid seeing certain people. Yes. Unfortunately. Yeah. But you know, like, again, you have, you know, like, you are racing against the clock in Dubai. So if you go to the mall, you have something else after. Either you right. go to buy something or maybe drink a coffee and then you leave. So if someone, you know, like stop you and the other one stop you. And so all your calendar will just, you know, like go, on. go away. Go on. So this is what uh, one of the challenging. But Siani, uh, let me put it this way. It's a very nice problem to have. It's a very nice problem to have. I know. Yes. But I, I thought to myself, you would have this problem. Thank you. Before you actually told me, because I would imagine that when you go out, because you're a very prominent business figure and people know you, yeah, mm. um, I would imagine there would be a lot of extended arms. Can, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Oh. And you can't help everyone because then you will never be able to help yourself. Wallahi. Oh my goodness. You know, maybe you are. You are the first point, uh, the first person to point at this specific subject mm -hmm. because it's very. Yeah, and sometimes, well, I feel like you know, like I want to cry. You know, reading my messages. I don't know if you have seen my LinkedIn. I have two hundred plus yeah. thousand followers. So imagine the number of requests. That's not about you know, like I want to be hired or I want investment or no, no. no. Certain people they write me a story. With pictures, with video, to show me that it is real. Yeah, it's it's yeah. unreal. Yeah, whether Instagram or LinkedIn, and I say, yeah, I don't know what can I do. Yani, I wish if I can, you know, like help everyone. Yeah, but it's impossible. It's impossible. And that's why one of my prayer when I pray, God, please, God, I want to have more and more and more and more, so I can help. Yeah, more. It's yeah. not like you know, like I want to buy this <laughs> and I want to buy yeah. that. So, but it is very challenging. And sometimes it's, a, it's, it's very funny that I receive also funny requests. Like what? <laughs> I will be more than happy to become your second wife. Oh, no, <laughs> like that. This is one of the secrets, by the way. I don't talk about this. But, you know, like talking about these things, like social media is, um, wow, man, it's very... Very Do you want a second dangerous. Wife? Of course, no. No, no. One. You know, we have in our religion, you know, like you can, that there are conditions if you want to get married more than one. 
But my philosophy, if you have the right one who is a friend, someone that you love, someone that you feel, you know, like the moment you close the deal, you want to call her. And immediately. And you know, when I got married, certain people from the family, first degree, said, I will give you a piece of advice. Never share anything with your wife. You know, always, especially the financial one. And I was laughing. I said, okay. Yeah. No, and I, I told her. Yeah. But my wife, you know, when they say happy wife, happy life, and all these things, which is, it's not like I'm buying it, you know, like the statement. But when you find the right one, the right one who prays for you, the right one who will make a celebration when you achieve something and reward myself. So when I bought, for example, my car to reward myself, when she sat down, you know, like she almost cried, not because, you know, like, oh, we got a nice car, but because of the achievement that I, you know, like I, uh, I deserve this yes. because one day I was talking about it and I wanted to buy it yes. at the right time. Yeah. So when you have that personality yeah. or that person, how come you will think of buying, of, 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 of uh, having another one? Yes. Why do you want to even have another one? Yes. So people who are married to the second, just to let you know, religion-wise, maybe if I want to give them the doubt of benefit, like, mm. you know, or the benefit of the doubt. Or the yeah. benefit. If someone wants to get married to the second one, maybe he doesn't have kids and he wants to have kids. Maybe uh, there, there are lots of, of, of valid reason that they both agree, okay, I will get married. <laughs> Which is again, uh, still, <laughs> and I, and I, um, the way I look at it, if a woman cannot get kids to a man, is this just a survival for the guy to get married to the second one? Mm -hmm. Maybe because the man wants to mm -hmm. have a kid. Mm -hmm. So I have a question for him. What if she can get kids and you cannot get kids? Mm. Will you allow her to say, I want to divorce you because I want to get married to another one? Or, and she will destroy you. Or could she have a second husband? <laughs> or, yeah. So, and this is when, it, yeah. you know, like you will never hear this yeah. story that a woman will ask for a divorce because my man cannot get. Never. Yeah. Never. Because the woman, when she loves someone, a yeah, yeah. husband, then yeah. halas. Finished. So, um, thank God, you know, like, alhamdulillah, I am blessed thank God. having my thank God. wife. And you know, like she's she's not a wife. She's your best she's friend. Very, yeah, she sounds she, like your best friend. She is my best friend. Yeah, we do lots of crazy things together. Of course, we fight, and but this is you know, like it's like the heart. You know, you have to have this a decent, you know, like or the a quiet love with no problems. This is a problem itself. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. to have the up and down. Of course. Now, I did a podcast with a relationship expert. A successful relationship isn't a relationship that doesn't have problems. Having problems is natural. Every relationship has problems. Mm. It's the ability to resolve problems without causing resentment. Okay. So, not hurting each other and trying to explain to each other clearly, which I think you're very good at. Um, being able to explain very clearly how you feel and how it makes you feel and then build it, you know? All is one, right? Yeah. Every There's billions of atoms between you and I, but we can see through it because they're gas. We are also on one atom. We are also on our own frequency. Your frequency is this. Her frequency is this. When you join together, naturally, you're going to clash because your frequencies are different. Uh, a sign of a successful relationship is building those clashes into bonds. So over time, you start vibrating and, and having your frequency on the same wavelength. Yeah. You know those couples that have been together 50 years and they're still arguing about the same thing? Mm -hmm. It's because they are still clashing and they're not really making it into bonds. 50 years? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <Those> you. <laughs> Thank you for this. You know, like, but I'll tell you something, one of my philosophies. Tell me. In my belief, I might be wrong. 90% of any problem between couple with their husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend is misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. I thought you were going to say money. No, no, no. Misunderstanding. Even if it's related to money or car or outing or, or, or. Because I might say something, you know, in especially 
and in, in, in WhatsApp. I might say, for example, um, why did you go? Why did you go without telling me? If I say, for example, why did I go without telling me? Um, with a you know, with an emoji, with a smile, someone smiling, she will understand that you know, like it's a peaceful one. Yes. Sometimes I will say certain things. She will take it as if I am yelling, as yes. if I am very angry. Yes. But it's or sometimes you know, like we are at home. I said something, and she understood it. She she took it something else, and I'm you know like I'm okay. you, but this is what I meant. No, this is what I, what I understood. So ninety percent of these problems, trust me, they are all misunderstanding. The problem is ten percent is nothing. Nothing. Yeah, and that's why one of my secrets. I told my wife. I told her when we got married. Listen, I want to make a deal with you. She said what? I said any couple. They get angry. They fight, and then you know, two, the three days, they will come back again. You know, like as if nothing happened, right? She said, "Yeah." And I always, I told you, I'm about all experiences in life. Sure. So I always, you know, like think, yeah, differently. So I told her, I want to initiate this concept. If you and I fight one day, I will come immediately, shake your hand, and just you know, like halaf. When I shake hands, I don't want to wait three days, four days. Call us, be, you know, like, let's be on peace. Sure. Agree? Agree. Um, after a few months, we had an argument. And I meant, like, you know, like, I'm a man. So I want to say, and we have something in, uh, in religion. It's like, خيركم من يبدأ بالسلام. يعني, the better who will start with saying salam. Mm. This is the better person. The better person is the person that says hello first. Exactly. And this is what I did. So we had an argument. And I said, <laughs> I said, I am here. And I wanted to shake hands. And what she said, uh, we had an agreement. She said, ah, so now you think that it's over? You just want oh. to end it <laughs> with that? <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh my goodness. Oh my God. All my concept, <laughs> everything is gone. Every time, you know, we, we yeah. laugh about it, you know. Yeah. It, you know, like, maybe it's not that easy. Yeah. But I tried it with her and I tried it with my brother. So my brother, which, you know, like we are four brothers and one sister. Okay. And one of them is like a very close one. Okay. So, you know, we traveled once and I told him exactly the same. I told him, listen, while we are traveling, if we fight, if I say salam, khalas, peace. We are in trouble, you know, like, yani, let's, let, let go. Go. <laughs> okay, okay. And we fought over, you know, like driving, no, go from here, go from here. No, 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 no. So we had an argument. And I said, listen, khayrakum man ibda bis salam. And I shook hand, and he did not. He was just quiet. I swear, I felt so annoyed. Of course. But, you know, between myself and, you know, like God, that God, and I, I did what they have to do. I want to be a better man. Yeah. Even if they don't say, it's fine. Yeah. I'm doing this for God. Because, yeah. you know, like this, these are all good. You know, like when you do good things, yeah. you don't expect anything. Yeah. You are doing good things because this is your, you know, like your thing with God. Yes. God will give you whatever, you know, will give yes. you more blessing, will give you more health and wealth. And, and, and. Mm -hmm. So when I do good things, it's, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, like... Uh, you know, like you I, do I don't it, care, you know, whether to expect something or not. Apported or not. You don't do it to be apported. At all, at all. But, you know, when I went back, this is what I told my father. I told my father, come. I told him, this is what he did. One, <laughs> two, three. I reported to him. <laughs> and my father was laughing at the same time. He, said, love... he said, really, did you do that? <laughs> and he's the eldest one, you know. Yeah, not yeah. The, I'm the younger. Yeah. But, you know, like I made, I made a point, you know, for, for us. So, <laughs> listen, before... Before we continue about this one, dumb dumb Yunus, <laughs> I want to introduce you to yes. uh, one. This is the Hi. engine. Hi, how are you? Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. 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 Nice to meet you. Yunus is the engine of Hadduta Masriya. No way. And this gentleman, along with the team, you know, like everyone here. Yeah. Uh, he is very passionate about SMB. Yeah. And I remember, you know, like him, you know, like growing. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe, you know, like same stories, you mm. know, when someone, you know, mm. like was nothing and then they were growing, growing yes. day by day by day, yeah. self-made. So he is a self-made. And now 
believe it or not, he has his own podcast. No but way. he's focusing Good in FMB. Focusing on FMB. So when, when I told him that we are coming and this, I said, listen, I will introduce you to you guys. Thank because you. I told him he has very cool idea. I Thank love you. it. I didn't see it in anyone uh, anyone else. His podcast and his talk. So yeah, it's I amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you. The food is incredible. The service is incredible. But I, the food is really... Are you Egyptian? Yes. You're Egyptian. The food is really incredible. This is, this is the first time I've had this. First time I've had this. First time I've had this. Kushi. And yeah. This is the most important thing I told you. Kushi. Yeah. Yeah. But I really love this. I really love those two as well. It's just very well done. Very well done. Yeah. And what a great location too on Sheikh Zayed Road. What a great location. Very central. Yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Habibi. Thank you. Fadal. Habibi. So. So. How do you think people perceive you? Habibi, thank no. you. Thank you so much. Tell me, tell me more to give you the right answer. You know, sometimes I don't I want to give less to get the the what the answer that you think. <clears throat> How do you think people talk about you behind your back? People that mm. not don't like you, people that like you, people that know you. I don't think there's anybody that doesn't like you. Mm. <clears throat> I'll give you two answers. When I was very young, I know that the majority of people, especially in universities or this and that, would always say, why is, you know, like, this guy like showing off all the time and I don't feel comfortable. This was one of the main points that I always used to hear. You were showing off. Yeah, yeah. They were saying you were showing like, off. You know, like, why is, you know, like the, the moment I enter somewhere, you know, like uh, as if I am the owner of this. <laughs> I, I get that feeling. Sure, sure. Why, you know, I like see. he's talking like that. I, I see. Don't know. But that's just confidence. But the moment they know me very well, they start telling me, oh my God, man. Wallahi, I <laughs> used to think about you, this and that. But you are totally different. Yeah. And I became good friends with many people that they used to either, I don't know, feel jealous or they used to hate me or don't feel comfortable. And they, they told me this, which is amazing. So this is before. Now if you tell me. It's funny because when I first met you and I didn't know you, I was very intimidated. Mm -hmm. When you came in, if I was sitting like this, I would sit like this. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> I think the way you hold yourself. Mm. Remember one of the first things I said to you was men have to build themselves and mm. you've built yourself perfectly. Well, I, I honestly, I work so hard without having any intention of what I want to get in life. I was just working very, very, very hard on making, you know, building Muhammad al -Banna. Yes. Again, not for anything, Yes. but because one of the real story, when I saw my father one day, you know, like almost suffering, you know, from the real estate, no deals, nothing, <laughs> the market was dead. And real estate, if you know the history of real estate, it's like, you know, of course. every seven years, mm -hmm. go up and down, up and down. And one day I decided, I said, Wallahi, Anna, I, I want to become something. I want to support my family. So when I was really young, very, very young, 16, 17 years old. I still remember, you know, like the house, which is the same house in Sharjah, where, you know, like I used to have this feeling like, uh, almost like, why us? Why all my friends, palace and big houses, and, and, and. But this is where I, I had two options. It's either that emotion, I will allow that, kind of feelings, destroy Muhammad al-Banna, although he was nothing, or to use this kind of feelings and emotions and turn it to a weapon to say, Wallahi, I will become something. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing. Yani my father, I thank him. My mm -hmm. father is my hero. Mm -hmm. So, and he guided me a lot. And now if you sit with him and if you ask him, he's, he's so proud because we have a lot of things in common, <laughs> business-wise, okay? But he said the only difference that 
you did it right, I did not do it right. I used to travel a lot and spend money here and there, but without any planning. All my brothers, they bought lands and they have buildings. But then I used to enjoy. Yeah. So I told them, you know what? Yeah, and he, as if I'm, I'm telling him, I'm, you know, like, I am okay with that. I'm, I'm, I'm telling my dad. I told, I told him, don't feel bad because you build good, good memories yeah. for yourself, for my mother and for us. Yeah. Like we used to travel to Europe and this. We have lots of memories. Did they, oh my goodness. Talking about this one, did you see, maybe you saw the story that I posted when I was young. So I don't know if it's <laughs> still there in I'm, my story. And the reason why I'm sharing or the reason why I'm sharing you with you this is just to tell you that why okay, it's gone. But sure. I shared I shared a picture of me uh, while I was a kid. And why I shared that? Because my father. This is the one. Okay. So this is... That's this you. Is, this is me in Europe somewhere. Okay. Why I'm sharing with Very you this? Because this is, <laughs> this is to tell you that what my father did is right and wrong. Right? That he built many memories with us to travel a lot when we were kids. And that's why before yesterday, every Saturday I go to... I spend the entire day in charge with my parents. So he was so happy. He got, you know, like the big bags with all the old pictures. Wow. And we start flipping, flipping. <clears throat> so I am happy from my father that he built good memories. He spent time, money, throwing money for us to enjoy. Yeah. But he is not happy that he did not plan it well. And that's why he feel, you know, like, no, I regret because I was supposed to buy and this and that. I told him, yeah, but your brother, God bless his soul, he was working 24-7. He died giving lots of millions to his, uh, his family. Lots of millions. Zero memories. Wow. So what is the best way? This or that? Yeah. In my humble opinion, not this, not that. To be in between. Somewhere in That's there. why I learned from this. And mm -hmm. I learned from that. I took from here. I took from there. And now I'm, I created my own... You know, it's like my own land where I can see everything. Okay, I have this. I enjoy having my bikes, my cars, my, my, my. I have my family. I have my parents. I have my friends. I have to travel. I have to travel with my Eiffel on. I have to travel with the kids. So, you know, like I have to do certain things, you know, to travel with my father. Why none of my brothers think of taking my father and travel with him alone? <laughs> no one will think. <laughs> Nowadays, everyone is busy. Yeah. But why I am different? Because the moment you close your eyes and think what will happen in 20 and 30 years, God, God bless us all and give us more, you know, like years to live. Yeah. But when you close your eyes and start imagining things that, you know, eventually everyone will, will, will be gone from this life, yeah. right? No one will live. This yeah. is a guaranteed thing that everyone will die. Yes, of okay? course. How, hopefully after 100 years. <laughs> but sure. the, moment, the moment you start thinking of these mm -hmm. things that, you know, like, and then no one was thinking about, you know, like taking my father. Mm -hmm. I, was, I, I always initiate these crazy ideas. Sure. I told my father, listen, we are traveling together. Oh, where? We're going, I'm taking you to Azerbaijan. Yeah. Only you and I. Yeah. Not my mother, yeah. not my brothers. Yeah. Only us. Yes. And I spent quality time. Yeah. And when we were together, yeah. you know, like, you know, waking up, <laughs> going for breakfast, yeah. I used to do certain <laughs> silly things to make him feel that he's my father. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah. whether, you know, like, you like, know, like we finish, for example, at 12 o'clock, he's tired. Yeah. I tell him, listen, can I go for a walk at night? Yeah. I just had, we had a big uh, meal. I just want to go for a walk. I'm going yeah. just, you know, to have coffee. Yeah. Uh, okay, yalla, yalla, go. Okay. As if, you know, like I was a kid. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. like saying a few things, things like to that. ask him for his permission to make him feel that you know wow you are still the dad <clears throat> regardless what i do and when i get any awards you know like i told you i call my wife and i call my father and my mother yeah i share with them pictures of yeah. me having the award and i tell <clears throat> my father and my mother congratulations to you mm. it's not me it is yeah. you who raised me yes and i i wallah before <laughs> before yesterday i was talking with my mother and i told her I, tell, I, I told her, you know, like, I'm very happy. So I'm talking about myself. I'm say, uh, I told her, well, I'm very happy for you. 
to to uh, to raise me in order for me to have one to three. I was thinking here about yes. something that I achieved. Yes. And I told her seriously, I feel like it's a long journey to hear this from my kids. Like I want yeah. my kids to tell me exactly yeah. the same I'm telling my parents. Yeah. Like it is you <laughs> and you're my mother. That why they, that's why they are successful. Not for tomorrow they will grow up, become successful, and they, they think, oh, it is me who you know. Like I you are in a constant state of gratitude. Yes, I am. A lot, man. Wallah. Constant state. Yes. Of gratitude. And I, I thank God every single day. And I, you know, my wife sometimes, you know, will feel, um, will tell me you're so crazy. Because the moment I see a window, uh, sorry, uh, a mirror, I look at myself, <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> I <don't> know, man. <laughs> you do it like that? <laughs> all the time. Ooh. Wallah, all the time. No and way. I feel, I keep telling you, Wallah, I'm so proud of you. Wow. So, you know, because seriously, yes. yani, again, <laughs> yeah, and giving one of the secrets and not being really crazy. And you mean it every time yes, you yes, say yes. it? Yeah, yeah. Every time I, I you or, know, like. Or even sometimes you don't feel it, you don't mean it, you're having a bad day, you you're didn't sleep well, you still say it. Or no, every time you say it. Yeah, it's see, every time I feel saying it, but it's not every day. It's not like every day I talk to myself no matter. Okay. But I do it like, like, not all the time, but I yeah. do it a lot. Yeah. Even when I feel love down, that. I look at myself, I love you know, that. and I say, Wallah, and I talk to myself, mm -hmm. it's okay, no problem, what will happen? So I, love that. I talk to myself. Yeah. And you know, I'm not an angel. I have lots of challenges in life. Money is nothing. People think that money is everything, but no. there are lots of challenges in life. <laughs> Sometimes challenges is not again you, your family. Challenge is something to help someone, for example. Yeah. yeah. Someone that you know. Yeah. That he is in pain. Yeah. And you cannot afford to give him money and this. You can give him this and that. So you think about that. So these things, you know, will make you feel, you know, like uh, upset yeah. or sad. Losing someone. These kind of things, these are challenges. Yeah. Yeah. But this is why, you know, like I remind myself. And, you know, like I don't do it in a way similar to those people that they go for yoga, meditation, close your eyes, let this no. out. No. And alhamdulillah, you know, you said something very nice, but I want to, you know, like modify it a little bit. You said, Hamad, you are so religious. I am not so religious, but I have good relationship with God. Mm. I have an amazing relationship with Him. Mm. When I pray, I pray to thank Him five times a day, me being Muslim. I don't pray because it is something that I grew up. With, where you know like I have to pray because Muslims we have two people someone that you know like uh, he used to pray so now he is doing it like a practice Allah Akbar no, 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 no. but when you pray to thank God to stop five times and just you know like as if you pause it for everything you pray thanking God and that's it you have good relationship and I'm not you know like again I'm not that religious person where you know doing this and lots of things I don't want to go there. I don't want to talk about religion. But I am, I like to be, you know, like very balanced. You said something interesting. You're not the type of guy that will just go and do a prayer, blah, 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 blah. You did your thing by, as if like it's a chore, like you have to do the dishes. You do it and you live in the moment, you live in the present and you really feel the feeling of gratitude and thank, thankfulness to God. Mm. That's the key. It, it is the key. Absolutely. <laughs> It is, it is something that... Uh, Have you ever thought about being a monk? No. No. You know, because I feel like your frequency is high enough to be able to. Yeah, but you know, like, I... You I always think about... You... I did podcasts with monks. Really? That's why the conversation I have with you and the conversation I have with them, there's a lot of... Voila. Yeah. See, you know, like, everything in life has advantage, disadvantage. The moment you develop yourself on certain things, like for example, I know that I have good energy. Yeah. And I can read things sometimes. Yes. People, certain people, that they saw these things on me, they say you can develop it. But yes. why I don't want to go? What is the disadvantage of me developing it? That I might become obsessed with it. <clears throat> oh, wow. So I might be, you know, like, I want to get more and yeah. more. I want to get more stronger, this and that. Yeah. 
And then, you know, like I will start losing it, you know, yeah. like I will start using it for something else. Or I will think that, uh, like I have someone, like a Muslim person who start believing a lot, start developing, taking lots of lessons and she travels. And now, for example, again, I have nothing, I have nothing against anyone. Everyone has his own relationship with God, with himself. But now she said, maybe there is no God. Because she believes that she can do things by her own. Okay. She can attract things. She can do this. She can do that. So everything has advantage, disadvantage. But the moment you know that like, you are in control and it is natural, where people know that it is natural thing, and they, you know, like no one, for example, uh, showed me or explained to me what is the meaning of law of attraction, how to attract things, what is energy. It is all natural. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to keep it this way. Mm -hmm. I feel me myself. The moment I develop this, then I will become one of many people that mm -hmm. they are doing this. Mm -hmm. And you know, other mm -hmm. people will not buy it from me. Will mm -hmm. not maybe believe me because they'll say, ah, mm -hmm. because he he studied that and he, you know, like he's. So I want everything to be natural. Sure, sure. Organic. Organic. Happen organic. When it's supposed to happen in God's right time. And. Many people, when they reach that stage where they became very good of what they're doing, they start doing it for business. Yes. I have now good friends. <laughs> they used to give advice for free, for example. Yeah. Now, halas, they have uh, their own consultancy. Yeah. Kama will do this, you know, like meditation, yoga, blah, 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 blah. It became a business. So, you know, and when business comes, which is no wrong. But when money comes in these kind of natural uh, advices, yes, it <laughs> won't be hundred percent a real advice. I see. Even if you don't need it, maybe they will sell it for you. At the end of the day, you want to make money. Yes, yes. I Again, see. with all my respect and love to all my <laughs> friends that they are doing that. Yes, I understand. But there, there is always, you know, like let's say ten percent from those people who are doing it for money. But there are really good people that they are doing it without money and it's for free. You're being very kind by saying 10%. It's probably more than 50%, but that's okay. Um, you're, it's just your character. You're very polite. <laughs> I'm going to tell you my philosophy. My philosophy is... I always stay in my way. I don't go out of my lot. I don't come here and think, look at this coffee shop, look how much money they're making. There's seven people in line, five during the coffee, what is their race? No, this is really true. I stay in my lane because I feel like when you stay in your lane and you accept everything God has for you, well, no man can take away from you. Absolutely. But if you get out of your lane to get something that God doesn't want for you, God will take away from you. Oh. Oh. So it's never going to be... Uh, to the system. You know, you see the same businessmen that always go bing, bing, up, down, up, down. It's because they're constantly outside of their lane. They're not ready on their lane and just accepting everything God brings to that. It is here. Okay. That part of us, isn't I agree with you 100% that I want to add to you. Yeah, of course. I'm not sure. The moment. Well, they would have to have faith one in front of herself. But one, you know, our one many a bit. And we say everything happens for a reason. If, for example, you were traveling, and you have been elected to travel to play with the president of the country. Oh, you can't hear the piano as well. As all of us are, and everything was face and everything, all the old journey, you know, like, they would take care of. Two days before you died, like, they told you that this day we can't say, sorry, and we just have all. Now, two things. It's either this person will be destroyed, will be so bad, why down? Why did that tell me for? I will start out way that does the cover. This is why I destroy him, you know, because uh, he was start thinking, you know, that maybe there's something wrong with him. Oh, what it's like. Or the other type, that person who is very off the devil was paid. It's okay, I'm good enough. Maybe if I win that, 
maybe this will happen. Maybe they will do something. Maybe the player will. Maybe, maybe. So the moment you have that kind of faith, I swear to God, you will never be in pain. Yeah. Never. You need to and my philosophy compared to your philosophy, whatever happened, you know what they say? I don't fear. Yes. And this is something that even with my wife. Yeah. I've seen him once. Sometimes I'm not again, I'm not a here where I do it all the time. Something will happen. I think I'll be sure. I I put this in my house where you know like the faith and everything else where I read and, and it's a pain. Walk and talk. This is a good part. Do you have that word there? She might remember. It's okay. But 99% of anything happened, I lose a team, I lose this opportunity. Something would happen. Blah, blah, blah. I would hold a stand. And I have a zero beam website. Zero of I bought a very expensive car and I sold it because of, you know, like something that I saw the color setting and out with. But they have zero emotion. It's fine. If I, if I have to sell that car, I go to the other collector, GT3 RS, one of the baby, sure. you know, one the baby. But tell us, say, buy for zero emotion. It's absolutely fine. The only move they think this is how you would sell life, and this is how you will be with it with probably that part of your life. We are at least three. <laughs> the most important thing that we have had. The people around you and everything is amazing, everything is for me, you know. Have you heard the Chinese farmer story? No. There's a Chinese farmer, there's Sunny, and one day, and it's horses run away. Everyone from the village coming and say, We didn't hurt it. This is honorable what happened to the sir. Sorry, he said to me, We didn't The next day, the boss didn't come back. Then everyone from the village comes and says, Amazing the best the bad such few years. Amazing. The next day he standards on the wall, falls down, breaks his leg. Everyone can see my nephew they say. We're so silly the son of records like so god. We're sorry this happened to you. He said maybe. The next day China goes to wall and they come into a golden man to break to the wall, his leg is broken and he can't blow the wall. So the moral of the story you you get now. If it's good or if it's bad, this way out there. Absolutely man. Absolutely. So, going back to my question, how do people tip the And I'm talking about people like me before I need. People when you date to iftars or social events that might be you. And people that know you. You can enter Okay. So the way I truly really believe that people see me, and this is I face all the time, whether by emails or in social media or all. First, they think that I am uh, a chef. Okay? And I own role playing. And this is where I am. I'm not a chef. I'm not a chef. I'm not an excellency. Uh, although I got a certificate from the American University, so just I became a doctor, an honorary doctor. But I don't use it because I don't want to promote myself as. I don't want to promote people at all. These are the for. So. <laughs> I immediately tell them that I understand for me, that I'm not a shit. So this is something that I've been all the time. Number two. Although, you know what, you are asking good questions, you know, because I don't. Here, you know, at the moment, you know, we talk about this, people or things that they are like showing us. But hopefully people will take it in a very minute. But two things that I always do here, which will make me feel the most good. Jump with balls to put the... Yeah, but many people will say, "You is not good. Oh, your voice is very powerful. Yeah. It has a huge energy. And you know, like, uh, Chris Spade and all those things, but bro, you should do, take her place now. As a friend of mine, you know, the, the first time we were talking, yeah, this and that. So my voice plays a big role in my life for some reason. So, you know, like, I'm the guy, hey, it can cause a bit. I don't like the moment I go. Uh, and this is something that, you know, like, how people, you know, recognize immediately. And the third coin I hear is all the time, 
that you know like all about Eden. Like people booking. You know, I remember the wife of the uh, uh, Syrian ambassador. At the moment I went to work, uh, she said, oh my God, I don't know her. I was with her husband and other people. So we went just, you know, like yeah, to say hello when we finish. I said, more like that we got. I said, I guess need you in it because she's deep into energy. So many people also see my, you know, person with the good energy hundred in them. Now, maybe now things that I don't know. Not even how they think about the and uh, then the other side. Okay. Do I still believe that people will think that the Hamad is uh, maybe I don't show any I don't feel that. You know, maybe it was a point community my esteem my people. Especially that I I choose whom to meet. And when I choose who to meet, like I I I go in maybe I receive lots of uh, a, a request to go to certain events or to be in a full task. But I don't go to any event and I don't accept any code else because I believe in edit support. So the moment I meet that person who I feel that they are with energy, I know that there is no way for him be jealous or a theme that I am showing up for or, or was because I know that we both have another way. And that's why. I remove my steps from that part. I don't know who is talking about me. I don't know who is jealous. I don't know who hates me. Yes. But all that I know about that in my beast to hear it, murder, be with that, have it in that. I'm gonna be there. You know that. You Lord, I I believe their love and respect. This is more than enough. Passing in this world, this is more than enough. Okay. There, there be, the moment I feel that someone copy me because there are two big idols. I, I would never say their names, but I know that they copied Muhammad. They copied everything. They copied the way I both at this. So whether those people are any other people, the moment I know that people stop hating Muhammad and being jealous, then I would be worried. I would have been like, but I would have no problem with that. Because you said not doing something right? Because I'm not awaking, maybe you know, no use in the market. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm not influencing people, so I have I no see. problem that people do what I do. Quick, you know what yes. I created last year that I did tournament, Blah. and then I kind of took the best, and it became all the business. Many people did it, and some are telling me I'm doing it because you did it. I have no problem because I believe that everyone will take his part in life, yeah, or her art. Yeah, I believe in nothing is. You know, if I I would love to create something exclusive only for me. Yeah. No problem. Or even if I am the leader who created this, let other people are hit you really long. But this should both be there when people be share with Arcus to the youth. Uh you like they they are jealous yeah. or you will say the sub all the that that's like here. So and then there I was there, oh my goodness. And one time, one of the excellence also, the question being said, but there are all steps of people people talking about the bit. I said, is there anyone talking about who or why that? I said, no. I said, then we are not making up noise in the market. I said, you heard how people talk about the, like the pre marketing. People, you know, like, uh, you know, like they keep copying my Instagram, the fake, bang, bang, yeah. And other people, you know, they send me directly that, well, I'm not so sorry, those people, how oh, they are doing this. I said, why are you here? that someone is trying to be you. Oh, it's a big success. Yeah. Why are you sorry? So it's about mindset. Mm -hmm. And how people, how those people are thinking, saying about the world, something bad. Yeah. But where is my challenge sometimes? My challenge sometimes when this guy he well, he said, and you know about it, and you come at him. Now I will forget about this guy. I will. Look at you, and you're right, but I will ask you a question. What is it for me to tell you? Mm. You question the messenger. Yeah. Why, why are they? It's either that you want me to build trust, so he wants something for me? Yeah. No, I don't take it this way. No, 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 no. I will always take it back. It's either that you want me to uh, take accuracy against other things. No, I'll 
or you want me to become the and we are be that out you know like uh, maybe you are feeling something what you will don't want to be in good about the uh, and i will but i will never take it in a way that i'm building a trust because there are lots of amazing ways that we have been trust mm. but not this mm. so that's why in my life maybe i help these people yes yeah. Again, when I was open to many people in my now I'm very close, so I don't meet this, anyone. She mean, but I asked those people, what's that person? And they said, what do you mean? said, why are you telling me? And I tell me what he said. I don't know this, I shared this, with telling me. And I said, then don't, have, don't share it, because, see, yeah, and this will not add any value to me. Not to come with jealous, maybe something, you know, whatever, but not like the story. And then they, he got the point. So this is where, you know, like, I feel people, I see people, I see people, I will always guide them. Yeah. Go share with them, daddy. You don't know, why is any? Daddy, you don't have to give that bad energy to that one. Yeah, I mean, I should. Yeah. If he knows, it's fine. I you know that he hates me, I will feel, I will feel amazed. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know what is the, you know what is the most important part of the thing? Yeah. Or the most uh, dangerous thing? What? And this is where I get worried. If no one hikes you, or no one loves you, or no one uh, talk about you, it means that we are no one. So, if even for example, let's talk about you know, the exit, the thing I just saw. Tim, if you were, for example, okay, welcomes to the audience on his other, ex friend, ex girlfriend, a few, yeah. If she doesn't well, how they work, love you, or fuck you, it's selling because you are, you know, you broke. If she hates you, then it's good for you. Why? Because she still has meeting friends. That's why she, you know, like uh, maybe there is a way that you guys will go back. There is feeling for it. she hates you about it. It's amazing. Yeah, this is how the mindset that you are very popular. Yeah. She hates me. It means that there is feeling. <laughs> then there is maybe chance. She has to go back to get out. Yeah. But if she does this, hate him. That's a love you. But this is what he did for then you will never get her back. Mm. The emotion is dead. And with women, if the emotion is dead, then ah, uh, game over. Real, uh, damn it. I don't think you hate women. You know. Oh, no, no, no. This is, I... You have never hated no. I, I, this is my message to my daughter. Don't yes. ever use this word, babe. That hate is a big thing. Love is made. Love is something nice you can use, but hate on... You can use any other words that love it like me. Hate is the big thing. If I, if I don't feel comfortable from someone who did something that wrong to me, I just pray to God. This is the only thing that I can. But I will never sing action against him. I will not go to the court. I will not talk to the I will kill him with my kindness by being very quiet. This is me. But showing him that I hate him also. As if you're know, like, I'm making what? A deal. That you know, like, I, you know, like, I leave. Well, so I just leave a plan. That's why one of my could also pitch. Someone did something wrong, and something to fix, but you're not like, was. I don't take any action. All what I do, why they call me and I call myself Dr. X. Because when I was young, I said, if I put X, it be a good one. Better. Really? Because there's obviously, there's a lot of people in the on. Yes, man. Uh, I'm in the south. Can you please remain so funny? You know, it, it always attracts people to come here and what do you think? Say they are just going to be nasty, you know? I, and I would imagine you need to meet a lot of those people that would waste your time. Oh, um, you got it. Still, I don't feel like you would have any hate, dude. You see that they are, or what they are. I mean, you see people. Yeah, I mean, again. Now, what did I do to minimize this process? I create my own website. How many do another go? Part of hope. The ninety-five percent from the people that I meet, they go through the website, which means they are made for that one hour. So they are not, you know, done this morning. So, even if they waste my time of this one hour, yeah, on him. at least I give them a feedback and I guide them. If they are not good people, all good people, if they are good, we will do business. 
and they are not one hour go by by. I will never be again. Very simple. Five percent. Those are the people where I connect with it. Like when we yeah. start, you know, connecting with Instagram. I did not tell you, oh, watch when go and uh, the the fire, you know, that warm pay the beat and then my team will get no, yeah. It's not correct there. It's only when it's nothing where I can fit business to the basic. I would have too. I would have too. I am you know, but this is what never happened. And alhamdulillah, I'm happy that you are all blessed because you have good energy, you have good heart. And I, that's why, you know, like God is, you know, giving you the opening door for you. Yeah. One. Well, I mean, just to be vulnerable, I got to fit during the uh, my inner, I feel like I'm in the team, I'm totally to my teacher's side. Because a lot of the dim has said it's how I see it. Why? My energy to bow to bow to bow is the fact that I'm going to tell people. Because I think that in a year, I ship the Dilmont to Mall. I stood at Mall in three years of a dealer, and they were not how productive it was. Yeah, they didn't, I didn't know what to give me. Do not have a type. That started maybe a week ago. Because if I lived on my bed, it's really unmarried. And then I told my sister, hey, yeah. the white collar today, I would have said, you're kidding. I'm trying to do and be not on, and do the cut that out of has a fan on shut this, so I was mailing with her. But man, but we ever going to be dying on the way God was a bunny up on the event. See, I've needed an experience to this side. This is so, and now I'll give a thing as you along of finding another bit that to trace and read to gaze and eat. But why right now? That's that's only you've been a lot of me when you you know, when you sit with yourself, yeah. you really have oh. lost to you that people are so why they got and all the little bad not is there for you. You have to identify a few things. Do you want to focus on the next phase? To make more money? Or not to make more money, make money? Okay, now I'm not talking about you, talking about gender house. This person who wants to create something. Maybe he created certain businesses than not doing, you know. So is this phase? that I will focus on all my energy to make yeah. good money. If that I made yes or no, we will do it. Let's say that it's all my faith and I'll tell you. Then I will ask the second question. Is it something that you feel like, uh, you feel that there is a gap that in our life? Not. Where you want to you know, feel it and be good about it? Where you know, like, is this something, whether you get money no, or you don't? But you still want it. Oh, yeah, so I have kept that. But you really feel like, you know, you don't know what to say. Like you have money, for example. Bus. You have businesses running. Money come from here, money come from there. Let's say the bus got working very well, but you feel bored. Yeah. So you don't know what to do. So this is something where, you know, like that I would do if I were you. I would have been so that. I would always make a lot of people up just, you know, like for coffee to deal what they have, that they are doing. So you can get inspired by doing the You yeah. know, like if I did this with you, I know, like that house, the little bit is just like that. Where we sat down, we started thinking, you know, together, we will come to 100 by 100 ideas will be shrinking 10 and then one. But again, this is where we, I'm only doing this because I want to build my own empire, a new thing, it's a new op. Where we together, everyone in the total shop, they be to be here, cause I don't want to do there, I don't want to do there. It's like a hub where I enjoy having good food, good tea. I have one more important to do the post that. So the place of making money by hotel. I meet the new people every day. I do events here. See, you can make a lot of things in one place. But is this something that I want to do? I have the investment. I can do it when I talk. Or, or maybe this is something where he's saying, no, I don't have the money out. I want to create something to make money so I can achieve this bit. If we zoom out to love, so I'm in the week, they were going to get put out of women's situation with, with a love dolly and ready me to let a little pop of the ring. Oh, I'm going to bench me this side of Adam. Sure, but he does. It becomes normal. What do I say to that? I don't have a bad All the normal out of him do that. He had done all the wrong. All in. Bring. Very challenging question, you know why? Because you were always 
have to challenge yourself by the end of singing. Me. So then you open this. It become a heart. But when I say up, it's not like a lot of this. Why I said it out. It's something in you. You meet people, you invite him back to the illness. It is ongoing thing. But this is what is always making me around. Okay, maybe now my next step. This is like the press block. Maybe the next step. Oh my goodness, people are asking me to go and offer an interview. Oh, please do it. So this is another three years to go there because it's working very well. And to build a connection between the Italy, UAB, Russia, X, Y, Z. Now when you are here and you have all those amazing people around you, trust me, they would all have made you really with Well, because someone would come and say, listen, but you you are having a nice form, um, you know, like, it is you all. Come on and say, I am ahead of the river. And I create something which is good for you. Know. So he give you an idea. The moment you like this idea, and you're already somewhere else. So you make yourself building that with something. With enough dough, but this is the most important. How in a jet you view? What do you want that you do this? Do you want to me how I felt like me myself? It is one of the fact you want to keep experiencing things, honey. Even businesses, no profit. Yeah, I mean, but like some things, let's do it. Mm. In business, there is the most dummy, but there is the brain. You might be the brain of, uh, of making something great, like social media. Well, you know how to make social media. I don't. And you have, you have the right idea and concept to more. And I'm in here in UAE, which is so work. And I'm the one that they have the work. We partner together. I give you the more ink. You are the brain. He. It becomes something big. Now, for me as a businessman, maybe this is something, you know, like, it's not my passion, but it's something that I think about my social media to order. So, you know, like, I would use my company, so us, us, and I would come at my company with many other people. So, what, um, what I did, I invested with someone who was an entrepreneur, who is a chill, doing things for me because it's my company. And now, because people trust me, they ask Mohammed, I like you, so that, where, where do you do your social media? Who manages your social media? My company. And there is a provision here. But then they leave it out to you. So now we bring more businesses into that thing. Now, this is how I would grow me. And this is what will make me be really all the time. But not sleeping well, I think it's turned where I sit in the restaurant and I do the work that I put by. So I, I deal with supply, of course. No, I am a macro, yeah, CEO where I see things, okay, good, do this, do that, tight. But not a micro to go deep in the details where, you know, like, I didn't think when. We were on the river, what in the beep? Yes. Not all. Do you have to, if they were in the river, we better guide the ship. No. Yes. So then I'll end the question to you, to go back to my brain, what new speed are you on to make? Money, more money, you want the boxes and maybe money. And in 2020, it'll be. This is where it look, I decided after the orders. A lot. I don't want to do anything, not a major collaboration. And be dealing with the person with that. No, no, no. So, I don't want to make money. We'll stop. No, it's very clear with myself. I want to make money. That's it. Speed. And I woke it and I team. What I want to achieve. Now, then I did that. Second, you know, like, what is my, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, like, what, uh, what do I want to achieve? What is my 10 main goals? I wrote down a more thing like that. Well, now you have to ask yourself, what are you? Here. And your first fight. And your first day of finding what's in the only moment. Me, which I have my ideas all the time. We have to pin up, but yeah, but we will bring up not so yeah, I have a lot of nice. And maybe you bring to these you just the yeah, advice no, and these kind of things to evolve us up to all self. Healthy. You have the money, you don't have the land yet. Like you have the investor but you need an Esther in order to you know come up the income to fulfill your you know concepts and I think these are the what is they are. I say this because I'm sure people watching would be doing this some people will be building the business as well. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure you have as well, that I, I saw the master in there, okay? uh, and I had a thought, how did you feel the world? And should I talk about 
thinking loudly with the right people. Uh, so with the right people. Uh, thinking loudly with the right people. Yes. Yeah. So the moment you and I sit over dinner, shisha, whatever, tea, and we start talking and walking and I will add tea or walk at this. And it tried to mean and find out what do you want. Maybe you don't know yet what do you want. Well, then you have money or you don't have money. And then we put everything in the table. When you have the right minister, the right person, the right person, whoa, I can't do anything. Anything shame that, you know, conversation. We would have just me as a good help. Then he would just give you the right advice. You know, but he give you the right advice, do one or three. This is something that you decide. Maybe you have considered, why did you do this with me? But the best part, when you, when you find the right people, things that are gathering right information, take care of people. Oh, okay. Remember the three months when I told you that let things probably get better? So or someone who doesn't know what's the deal, he has to keep reading, read well. You know, it's for people, people that they fail a lot. Not rich people that they were bored by. No, people that they have done it themselves. Step me. Read them in the take their piece out. Ask them lots of questions. Yeah. And, and then, you know, put certain things. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? What do you think about their daughter? Then they would decide to leave. And when they do something, why advise that they don't do it at all? Yeah, you always do it with the group of people. That's this for people. And they have, again, the right plan that this unit I missed. And what I thought so long ago, it was amazing failure. Yeah. Where you know, like I was. I look up at the side, best lot of the rent itself, it was seven hundred thousand. What's wrong? What are you used to give the piano? What in the foot? The wall time wasn't? Yeah, it, it was with my, uh, uh that's the third ship I found with Abdel Fatimid. Yeah. What of the right time in a member? It was my investor, I know the panel, uh, but I was the main shareholder, it was my dream. So, Jeff the Bug. May God bless his son, but wanted to do something with me, uh, and that, not for money, because it was energy wise, we clicked so on. And uh, we started that business. So I could bit very nice, amazing concert, and an seven meeting room, equal of President and Emirates. So my, my, for example, my uncle for Dubai, for Africa. And you have meeting room number one, that was the Abu Dhabi outside test. But all these things, when I started this and talk about those time ago, uh, when you start your own business, this is again another advice. You don't have to start a big gun investing money for big assets, uh, TV, uh, a screen, uh, a big team, and start slowly. That's really you, bro. But it can't be a small office in there either. It depends on your business. You require even a but Like if you are a business that you are providing a solution. Mm. Now you can have, you can close this deal with me while we are having a talk. Yes, but if you pre will be allowed operations with Germany and Japan into your office to be back, it would be a little start to be a little shit work in freight. If you are bringing those kind of people, then obviously you are a person that you have the money where you got afford the ice. Absolutely. But if you are an entrepreneur that you are starting in you, it depends on the solution event. I'm talking about the hated players that they are starters. I see what you I see what you So, yeah. so your mistake with little back was you went too big kid phone. Yes. You should have gone taller. Yeah, I, I mean, mean you know, like, uh, not a full flow. Let me put it this way. You know, you know I can't, you know, like, uh, maybe, maybe an office of this size is okay, but not a full floor. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that. So, but you know, sometimes, Lack of information, experience. Yeah, you are the CEO. You're still learning. You want to impress people. This and that. Well, it's it's absolutely a party. I don't fail you. We love there, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, I, gotta, I am so sorry. I could not finish my delivery, but you were very generous and you ordered a lot of food pop. Now we, you then have to eat. And even if, even if you don't eat, you will take. Yeah, because we don't want book travel food, so you would enjoy eating. Definitely not gonna throw food. Definitely not gonna take it. But see, I could eat. But I know because the uh, culture, if I eat now, I'll eat sleep. 
Yeah. No, no, with the, with the tea now, with the shot yeah. up, up sweet before we finish, yes. yeah. Uh, definitely. If you like this video, consider subscribing. We do weekly podcasts with experts in every industry to help you find direction and guide you on your way. Now let's get back into it. You have given me so much of your time today. How many meetings have you canceled to be with oh, me today? Oh my goodness. I saw your phone. Wallahi, this is the, seriously, it's, I don't want to say one of the first, no, this is the first time. <laughs> We met at one o'clock and now yeah. it's, it's, I, I don't even it's, know what this is. nearly six o'clock. Oh my god. Five goodness. hours. At least we are keeping, you know, like the 30 minutes before, you know, like my kids go to sleep. So, yeah. I, you know, yeah. like, thank you very much for keeping that. You're welcome. For me. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. But honestly, <laughs> it is worth it. Every single second, it was really worth it. Thank you. Good questions. I hope that everyone who heard me saying something, you know, like to, implement some of the secrets that I said. And I'm really sorry if I said a few things, which is, you know, like to show that as if I am showing off, it wasn't my intention. I didn't get that feeling Everything was just to share really with everyone, including myself, to remind myself that these are amazing tools that I am using. And I believe that this is why I am, alhamdulillah, blessed and successful. You have humble energy. You, I do not feel like you showed off at all. I don't feel like, uh, I, didn't, I didn't get that feeling at all. You're very humble. You're very spiritual. But um, most of all, you're a very good person. You're a very good, I'm so grateful to call you a friend of mine. Well, I thank you. Likewise. Um, and to be honest with you, I didn't ask any questions. I have a list of questions on my phone and I didn't ask you any of them. Honestly, I, I <laughs> noticed when we, uh, when we left, I saw you, you know. <laughs> There was uh, yeah, lots you, of questions. You saw that? Yeah, 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 I saw the little questions, but you know, like the good part that I did not see you using them. No. And this is the best part when <laughs> everything is natural. Yes. You know, like organic. everything. Yeah, organic, everything, you know, yes. like all these questions, it's just come yes. without any intention of us, you know, like wanted to reach this point yes. or that point. So, uh, and yes. amazing. And this, by the way, like you are... You are a master of doing that. Thank which is, you. Wallah, you had a good job. Not everyone you. can can do this because people, when they when they do the podcast, they stick to their questions. Yeah. So they keep looking because you know, like they have to yeah. finish what yeah. they what they started. Yeah. So good job, Allah. Listen, I have to say it's not uh, it's not good. It's more good job on your behalf. If if I was with somebody that I could, me and you were like friends, we're like old friends. We we can just keep going back and forth like ping pong, right? So. But if the conversation was hard, then I'd have to go on my phone, right? So it was, you made it very easy for me. So I appreciate you. Um, and I also have to thank you for ruining my diet today. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined my diet completely. Voila, I was. Especially with the, with the, why did you order so much food? Voila, it's not, again, it's not about so much food. It's about experience. And number two, I knew it. And there is, I don't feel embarrassed whatsoever. Where, you know, like when I ask more food, I tell the guys, get me the food yeah. because, you know, like it's either this amazing gentleman can, you know, like have because, you know, it, it is lots of food yeah. or we can give it to someone else. So we will never throw food. No. But I really wanted you to experience something in you to bring some, you know, like uh, some new things for you, to, you yes. know, to add to your dictionary. Yes. And today, let me just, you know, today I ask you very nice questions to see, you know, like, yeah. you know, like to test uh, the water with you. Now, my question to you. At one, at one point today, I was going to say to you, I asked the question. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> but now allow me to ask you a question. Okay. What is the main Egyptian uh, dish? Uh, famous one. I, I don't know the name. Because the name is difficult. Okay. Uh, but it's the rice one with the macaroni and the and the fried uh, onions and garlic. Yes. See, this is more than enough <clears throat> that at least having a new experience in Egyptian restaurant that this is their main dish. Yeah. Which is the rice with all the things. Yeah. Here. It's it's called kushari. Kushari. Yes. So as long as you are adding value to me and I'm adding value to you, whether food or anything else. Yeah. This is how we are. We we will always develop our our life and our uh, ourselves. But so it's a, it's amazing. This is Dubai hospitality, by the way. He's my guest, and he's the one hus- spoiling me. So <laughs> this is how it works. But, but honestly, I was this this close to uh, try that uh, sweet. Oh, I, I knew the trendy chocolate with yeah. kunafa. Yeah. You know, I said, it's okay. Let me have one piece." Yeah. 
يعني I was يعني discipline. Yeah, يعني I will have to reward myself for this. Discipline. Absolutely. Well, it's it's in like the car. We we don't throw fruits in the bin. It's la, in the la. car. It's, it's not too late. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> Inshallah. But Friday, honestly, it was amazing. Habibi, it was amazing. You know, so, something. What was the name of the restaurant one more time? Haduta Masriya. What area? Uh, in Al Safa, <laughs> Sheikh Zayed Road. Let's leave that in the comments for, for anybody. Okay, something very nice to use is when you finish, for example, someone, uh, yeah, you invite me for food. Yeah. And um, I tell you, for example, Wallah, thank you. Or vice versa. I tell you, Wallah, thank you very much for the food. You say, Sahtin. 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 Okay. Yeah, some, it's something like you are showing like you are very welcome. Like, ah, I yeah, see. It's very, yes, it's very ah, nice. Okay, so that's what I say. Yes, Sahtain. yes, yes. And before we leave, there is now to go back from here, uh, dive through. I'll have, uh, do you want coffee before we leave or no? Where is coffee? Here? Uh, yeah, just go right, my friend. Khalas, we are ending it. You're going to have one, one coffee, are you? La, you this is, Anna, I, I need, that coffee is number one. So you just go right. Khalas, go we right take coffee here. and then go home. And I want to enjoy the coffee with the, my kids, <laughs> the putting kids. them in the bed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, straight. Yeah, I, well, soon your, your, your kids are going to be on this podcast. <clears throat> yeah, inshallah. I will talk to them right now. Yeah, talk to them right now. Well, uh, when they come, I will see now when they are leaving. If they are close by, I will show them uh, here. Hi, how are you? Um, um, we have Muhammad al here. <laughs> oh. He's in camera. I don't You're know. You're in camera. Hello. Hi. We, Muhammad al will have a flat white. Flat white, yes. And I'll get an ice americana. Ice americana. I appreciate you. You didn't even let me pay at the restaurant. Why? <laughs> yani, you are my guest. Yani. How? You didn't, you're my guest. You're my partner. I am your guest here in the car. But Today, you were my guest there in the restaurant. So that means I pay for the coffee. I, yeah, you are you are in my area. So it's, it's still everything, you know, is counted. You're loophole king. Why? You just know all the loopholes. <laughs> you know, you're, you're in my area. We're Wait. in your car, but my area. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> you huh? know, your loopholes. <laughs> see this this car, but this is an old one. Yeah. Wallahi, see, this is, I will tell you a very nice story. Quick one. Tell me. This car, I saw it once in downtown when I was working. Remember, I told you that we were working a lot in downtown before it was, you know, like. Um, uh, a desert. So sure. There was nothing. Yeah. So I used to see this Porsche. It's a uh, white. The uh, the soft top is red, with a very nice rims and inside <laughs> the, the brake pad it's yellow car. Ooh, and it was two digits. Ooh, number. It became a dream. I swear, I was watching. The video of that vertebral promotion video of that car. Almost every night, every night I look at it. I look at it. I didn't, and I didn't know about you know like no full traction and think about it. No, but I was feeling it that this should be my car. I was just dreaming about it. I said this. Yeah, this was the first time that I felt like I want to have a car for real. Yeah. You know, and it became a dream car because it was expensive. Until one day, Alhamdulillah, I stopped making a lot of this and that. I went and I got it. I got the same specification. And in, I think in 20, 2020, before I sold it, I got the two digit, two digit number. Two digit number. Yeah. 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 And when I was driving one day, Flashback memory, I went back all the way to 2014 when I saw the car, where I saw it, you know, white and red at two digits. And then in the in my Porsche, it is the exact same specification and with the two digits. The one which, which is in my new car now. Yeah. And then I said, oh my God. And I called my wife to meet her here and I told her, oh my goodness. Remember when I told you the story of this car? And now it became reality. Same car, two digits. Yeah, yeah, two digits. I swear, this man took me to another level in life. And this is where, you know, my wife started believing in both attraction and this and that, and she became more crazy about it. Uh, so it is real. It's 100% real. I'm going to tell you something, right? Hi. 
Yes. Can I pay with card or cash? Yes. How's it going? Thank, Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Danny. Uh, what's your name? Lorne. Nice to meet you. But what does it mean? One, it's not Lorne. One. One. Lorne or one? Ah, uh, one. You one. Yeah. I'm one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, one. I can read, but what does it mean? It's like in my language, it's like Kai. 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 Uh, but you are like really seems very kind. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. Thank you. God bless you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Can I? Uh, yes, I can. All right. Appreciate you. God, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Shaq, let's go. If you know how to reach your goals, it would be a series of administrative processes. It, you wouldn't require to visualize. But we visualize because we don't know how, we don't know what the road is for us to get to this Porsche or to this Bugatti. But we look because if we don't look in the direction we want to, we'd chase our tail like a dog and not go anywhere. Mm. But we need a direction. We need a compass, but we don't know how. I don't know how I'm going to become a billionaire. For example, let's, okay. say, let's say I want to be a billionaire, which is not one of my dreams. But let's say I did. I don't know how to become a billionaire. But if I did, I wouldn't have to visualize. It would be a series of administrative processes. Okay. Well, I never thought of it this way. I, you know, like normally I like writing the things that I want to achieve. And by the way, one of the secrets also, every time I feel like a bit down or I have lots of pressure or I have lots of things to do, I start writing. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I'm an old school where I bring, you know, like uh, sometimes my notebook and boom, I start writing mm -hmm. again. What do I, what do I have to do? What do yes. I have to bring this and this and that? But for me, like I, I enjoy the process, like 50% of the excitement is before I get the thing and the yes. other 50% when I get it. Yes. And again, one of the secrets that I don't like to share with anyone, because if I believe if I share with someone that I am bringing that, the 50% of the excitement is gone. Mm -hmm. So, but when I do this, I like to live the journey, you know, from zero to hundred, meaning the car. I remember I used to go, for example, to Gurgash. Every, not every day, like every uh, three weeks to see what is in you. Okay, so what are the new specifications? And before I was ready to buy it, I went twice over a year, twice. And I get a quotation. I wasn't ready yeah. to buy it yeah. because I did not want to pay this much. And I didn't feel that I have to yeah. at that moment. Okay. So I don't buy things, you know, when I just, you know, again, to show off. No, when I finish the four important points, as I told you, and when I have enough, then I have to reward myself. So, but within the process, even if I know that, you know, like after a year or two years or three years, I will be getting this car. I love to live the moment and keep reminding, you know, like talk to my brain that yeah. this is your car. It is absolutely. Yeah. So I went twice before I got this car, seriously, went to the showroom, took the quotation, spent an hour, <laughs> do specification, and he printed the offer for me to go and pay the down payment. Wow. And then I said, okay, let me, uh, and I will think about it now and I will get back to you. Yeah. And I never <laughs> went back to him yeah. for that person. I, I took it printed in, in my other car and the other one, which is sold. Uh, so this is a reminder. That's you. It's gonna happen, yeah. and it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. As long as you're a good person, you don't try to, you know, mess with anybody or rip anybody off, uh, and you have a good heart. I think God loves. Yeah, you. and if you work so yeah. hard and you work hard, then yeah, this is where I say reward yourself. Mm. As simple as that. You have to reward yourself. Mm. This is one of the secrets. Mm. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Mm. This has been Muhammad Al Bana. Muhammad Al Bana, I'm so grateful to call you a friend of mine. Habibi. Thank you so much. Well, I uh, pleasure uh, having the, I don't know, four or five, five hours. I think now <laughs> you will make me talk about this podcast to many people <laughs> because it's not, it's not uh, like an interview. Yeah. It was really a friendly one. Yes. A very natural one. Uh, you ask lots of amazing questions and Thank I was you. enjoying, you know, like sharing, uh, secrets. You're good, huh? Thank Bringing, you. you know, like <laughs> taking so many secrets. 
and inshallah we will do it uh, one more time and again for anyone if they want anything i'll be more than happy to assist whether through uh, many of my social media whether the instagram or linkedin or the or the website inshallah we'll keep in touch and get ready for your people we have to create and i'm telling you now in front of everyone we have to create a paddle event i yes. am a person where i like paddle yes we make a tournament so if you are interested register i don't know where but the genius here he will create something for you to <laughs> register so register your name and we will be selecting 50 people and we make a very friendly tournament and the first and second and third will get awards so get ready for that just to recap this is the man that can make anything happen if there's anything you want to do in dubai this is the man to speak to okay inshallah will they will never disappoint me will do my level best to increase your chances to reach to where you want to be uh, where you want to reach and uh, god bless you guys god bless you and inshallah we'll keep in touch god bless all you all right how are you this has been mohammed albana let's go